welcome to Who Corner to Corner podcast. My name is Jeff, and I'm joined as always by my good friend Paul. Oh yes, that's me. Hello, Jeff. How are you doing today? Yes, I'm very, very good, thank good. you. I'm very buoyant. You good. might say. Yes, yeah. me too. Well, a little bit hot and sweaty though. Yeah, it's very but, hot. Uh, people can't see that because we're not filming. Today. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm not hot and sweaty we, at all. Yeah. I'm, I'm as fabulous <laughs> we, as always. We've spared them. Merely glowing. So today uh, is a very, very special episode of our podcast very for special. a number of reasons. Uh, the first of which, this is the first time we're recording together in person, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's just when you're a lot shorter than I thought you would Yes, be. I thought you might say that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but the other reason it's very special is we're joined by a very, very special guest yeah. today. Uh, someone who um, whose name will be familiar to all of our listeners and to Doctor Who fans around the world. Uh, he brought us the 13th Doctor three incredible seasons of Doctor Who, and he wrote for the 10th and 11th Doctors, and he wrote for Torchwood and, and uh, oversaw Torchwood, <laughs> and was Broadchurch as well. It's Mr. Chris Chibnall. Yay! Hello. Hey. Hey. Nice to be with you both Thank in you this very, much. very salubrious library. Yes. We're, we should yes. say we're in a very Good lovely place too. called the Seaside Boarding House yeah. Yeah. down in uh, Dorset. Down okay. in Broadchurch. Yeah, very near Broadchurch. We're far from just near the cliffs. Yeah, I think yeah. we're just like two fields down from where David's yeah. character yeah, yeah. turns around in the first episode. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. in so a library. Bookland yeah. library and the cocktail bar next door yeah. as well. On what is literally the hottest day in the UK so far this year. It must be at at least 30 degrees out there. Yeah, well, so the car said 28 on the drive down. Did it? Yeah. Oh, it's too hot for me. So, so it's good. So great. We're inside, in the dark, talking about Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> Which, <laughs> You know, that's that's, that's kind of like better? how I like spending <laughs> yeah, my summer, that's really. That's how everybody spends their summer. In the you know, in the cinema, <laughs> yeah. So, um, Chris, we've got a load of questions for Literally you today, means. and we're going to have a chat. Okay. Um, we've had some things in from our, uh, you know, our listeners and our, our followers and things. Great. But we're going to kick things off by saying, or asking, I should say, How's life been since you handed back the keys to the TARDIS? <laughs> oh, uh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, relaxed. I'm not sure when you count as handing the keys back. Mm, yeah, is, is there a specific day that? It, it, well, yeah, and when? also, so, you know, yeah, job for life, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Like you say, really. It's. Um, I suppose that the sort of the the kind of staggered bits to leaving the job. So mm, yeah. obviously you've got your shooting. You know, once you do your final day of shooting. Even then, we did a couple of pickup days with all the yeah. other doctors for Power mm. of the Doctor. Right, um, you know those were quite good days. Yes, I, um, mean, yeah. I was there for those, um, and great. They came at the end of the shoot when I'd done everything else. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, but um, so those were the last. That would have been I don't know, probably November, October. I'd have to look at mm. my phone. October, November, twenty one. But then we were in post production for the obviously. Uh, Either the Daleks, Legend yeah. of the Sea Devils, and then Power of the Doctor, and that, and then obviously the Sea Devils went out at Easter, so yeah. you're kind of doing all of that, um, and then I think we finished everything on Power of the Doctor by July 22. Right. But then there's that little, so the sort of summer of 22, yeah. I'd kind of got off fully, and yeah. only sort of part time doing post. <laughs> It feels like part time. It's in a sense, it's a full time job, but compared to like what you've been doing for the past yes, five years, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh great! I've just got two episodes, <laughs> some post production. I can just know. pop in for an it's hour. Like, or so. yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. You, or, well, more that you spend day. You know, you go. I really yeah. can go and sit in the grade for all the days, and nobody else is phoning me or needing mm. other stuff. Mm. So that was nice. Uh, long summer, and then came back, and we obviously did the build up to the centenary going out. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it feels like I think once the once the night the centenary yeah. went out, you go. That's kind of yeah. That's, I wonder if that's you know the moment of, yeah. David pops up and yeah. you, you're just like, okay, there we go. I haven't written those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's you know. Um, uh, yeah. So that's what, so it's so it's weirdly it feels like a really long time. Yeah. yeah. But it's actually not very long. It's sort of like two years since we stopped filming almost. Yeah. yeah. And but also. Um, only a year since the since less the than a year yeah, since the episode. Episode. you know, where are we now? We're yeah, less than a year, September. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit but it's nice. It's lovely. I mean it's the the kind of yeah. you feel the stress levels <laughs> leaving your system across like a period of years because yeah, you're just yeah. like, Oh, I don't have to go in and fix that tomorrow, I don't have to do another script or yeah, I don't have to yeah. do, you know, so it's been really lovely. I've had holidays see my family, yeah. my kids did their exams last yeah. year, we were just talking about it before we started recording. Um, so yeah, it's been really, really nice, yeah. really nice. And I and, uh, went to Gallifrey Rub 1 earlier this year, yeah. which I sort of hadn't expected to do and did that and that was great. So yeah, lots of lovely little things, but it's funny, it's like you just you think you're going to stop yeah. and then that's yeah. it. And it's, but it's, it's still, 
there hovering yeah. in the background yeah. in, a, in, yeah. a, in a very different way. Um, and, it, and it probably, like you said, a job for life, it probably yeah. will be for years to come, won't Conventions it? Conventions you know, and, and various things. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, oh, it's, it's just a lovely thing to have done, yeah. isn't it? Mm. People always want to talk about it, yeah. and, and so that's fabulous. I mean, how many jobs are there like that, yeah. really, when you do that? So, yeah, it's nice, but it, it's, uh, it's sorry, that's my that's me holding my tea up yeah. when I do that. <laughs> cup of tea. I move my spoon, <laughs> yeah. so it's going to clink yeah. every time yeah. I do. Um, yeah. These are not fake sound effects. Yeah. No, <laughs> they're no, actually no. real. I can't <laughs> believe you bought one teaspoon. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice, and it's uh, what's yeah. really exciting then is also thinking, great, there's some new Doctor Who on in the autumn, yeah. and yeah. you like, and and I'm kind of like, I, I, and in fact, I need to say to you, I don't want any spoilers. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I've yeah. read nothing. I don't know about casting. I mean, obviously, know who the doctors, yeah, yeah, new doctors yeah, are. Yeah. yeah. Um, but um, uh, but I've said to Russell please don't tell me anything I've said <laughs> to everyone don't tell me anything so you can I've go not, back to watching yeah I've not even read the magazine right I've like totally I've like, like absolutely yeah, yeah. zeroed it so I was like I can go back to because mm. it's a long time because I like even when I joined Torchwood we were reading the scripts yeah. for series two and we were doing so you're always that far ahead so right? I've known yeah. you know what's coming you've got to for a very long time so now to go I really don't know and you know, I probably know like two things, yeah. but I bet you know more than I do. And it's so the excitement of that is great. Yeah, you know, really lovely. You, you see quite a lot of, you know, there's rumours and, and leaks and stuff online, aren't yeah. there? Yeah, I, I, I try to stay clear of those as far as yeah. I can because I, I I like the surprises. I don't like being yeah. spoiled. Yeah. you know, like you, it's like I want you, Doctor Who, to hit me right there when I'm watching it. So I don't know that, you know, for example, the Master's coming back or yeah, the Daleks right. are going to appear at the end yeah. of episode one or yeah. you know, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that sort yeah. of thing. Because those moments are special. But, you know, I get that some people want to know that really like it, and then they, they yeah, can't yeah. wait. So it's the anticipation yeah. of that moment, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and you get it both ways. I, mm. I understand both points of view. It's, yeah, it's interesting listening to you say that because it makes me think, yeah, because it's, I think I have the same thing. I don't yeah. really want to know. <clears> and, but I, and, I, and you go, I wonder why that is. And I feel like... That's what it's like watching Doctor Who's kid. Yeah, yeah that's exactly, what it's like. Yeah. Where you, yeah. you and you're always wanting to recapture that. Sort mm. of why we love something, isn't it's it? A bit it's part like, of you know, it. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, yeah. it's like going back to when you're eight. Yeah. And you go, oh my god, what's that monster? Mm. What's that Zygon? Yeah. That's, we've yeah. never seen that before. <laughs> yeah. What's that? You know, that, where does that sucker come from? Yeah. yeah. What other what, what, what beast does it lead to, or yeah. something? And I really like that. Monster. Very little mm. has the ability to do that, does it? And Doctor Who still has the... It well, yeah. As an adult, it can make you feel like a child. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. we talked about this a lot on the podcast. You know, the, do, the, yeah. the, one of our questions later was a little bit about mm. it, but the, the secrets in your era, yeah. uh, you know, phenomenal. And, you know, I love being surprised like that, you know, Definitely. and having no idea what's coming. And uh, I think I might have said this before, but like... When I went to see Spider-Man No Way Home, for example, yeah. you know there was rumours that you know yeah. the, the two other Spideys were coming yeah. back, but you know you don't really know for for sure. And then they appeared, and and there was one little part of me that was like, oh okay, it was true. But the the majority of me was like, oh wow, yeah, you know. And and like the yeah. end of Infinity War, for example, where they they snap and yeah. everyone turns to dust, you know, what a shocking surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and you know, not knowing that sort of mm. stuff going in, yeah, I think is is the best. You know, I love yeah. being surprised. Well, I think it's. I mean, that's the point of storytelling, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah, like if yeah. somebody's told you a bit of the story before, you know, if you were down the pub mm. and somebody sort of at the start goes, this story's about to yeah. tell you. Yeah. It's a bit in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> where this happens, you're like, <laughs> well, that's gonna why don't we just, you know, yeah. let him tell it. Yeah. You know? uh, um, but uh, that thing of just going through it and yeah. not knowing it, it's, that's the purest form of story, mm. isn't yeah. it? That's, that's the most primal thing where you go, <gasps> you know, that you're in the moment and that, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I completely agree. And I still do that with films yeah, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I love being surprised. I, I think that's, that, that's where the memories are as well, isn't yeah. it? You know, they, yes. they, they grab you, they, they shock you almost. Yeah. yeah. And then they're instantly imprinted on your on your memory. Yeah, you, you remember brain. those things yeah. you know, vividly, don't you? Where yeah, you were true. and when it happened. Mm. And, yeah, because it's you know. the world, because you can't, you know, you only get one first time. Yeah, yeah. that's so it. So the first yeah. time you know that fact. Yeah. yeah, and if that happens in the middle of the story rather than in a mm. an, a, a leaked bit of information or a yeah. bit of a you know a snap from a set or something, it's it's never quite the same. Well, quite I the always same. think you'll wait it. I think mm. you know because obviously I was a dot two fan when I was younger, and it was like even then when you got um, 
I don't know, yeah. location photos or stuff like that. Then you think, oh, I'm waiting yeah. for that bit. I'm waiting to be how that fits into the thing. Yeah. And I'm, I'm slightly outside it. Yeah. So certainly my predilection coming in was like, mm. well, let's keep it as locked down as possible. And also I think that was, mm. I was habitually in that thing from doing yeah. Broadchurch yeah. as well. Yeah. But also Broadchurch to prove you can do it. Yeah, you know, it is possible in this yeah. day. You just don't tell people. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. like, like genuinely. Yeah, <laughs> just don't tell anyone. But it, that's yeah. really hard in a massive organisation, particularly yeah. Doctor Who, because obviously everybody needs to know to make the show. Yeah. Everybody's making the show. No, and you, can't yeah. Yeah. you can't go. You can't suppose go. you end up with so many moving parts, and it's the guys in post and the guys in effects. Yeah. And, and you need to know they're yeah. all trustworthy. Yeah. yeah, you know, and, and we work very hard at that, and they all were. And I think it's then sort of as you go through the outer circles yeah. of distribution, marketing, all that kind of yeah, stuff. You insane, need to know that yeah. those teams are, you know, and, and then you end up with teams you don't, people you don't know. Yeah. And there are people within teams who, who like to prove that they know things, yeah, you know. And, yeah. and so it, it was just trying to minimize. So when we came in, we did limit the flow of information quite a lot, which some people weren't very happy about. But I think then when this saw the effect mm. of, it becomes more talkable, yeah. you know. Um, but equally, it works the other way. You know, you can yeah. go, actually, the opposite is true. Yeah. You create buzz. Yeah. You do yeah. you know, I, I the hum, sing, shout marketing yeah. strategies yeah, and things yeah. like yeah. that. Is, is like, but so it, it's not, you know, it, both ways, I think, have the value. Have value. Yeah, 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 it, yeah, it comes yeah. down to an individual choice. You know, we like the secrets, don't we? And you know, like you said, some people find yeah. it frustrating. Well, you know, that's, mm. that's fine. But yeah, yeah I, I love, you know, not knowing anything in, in advance. Yeah. You know. I, I think also there's, you know, I mean, I, I deal with marketing quite a lot in what I do, and there's right. always this thing about, you know, we, we've only got short attention spans nowadays, and our attention spans are getting shorter and shorter, yeah. and we need this constant feed of information. We've got to know stuff, otherwise we're not going to engage with it, we'll move on quickly to something else. But I think, actually, is that really true? I, you know, that, I think that's very interesting. I mm. wonder about that because I, I obviously, you know, you, what, you you're kind of you make a show, but you're yeah. sort of watching the television ecosystem, and you're sort of thinking, well, what did I know about the yeah, bear before yeah. I went in? What did I know about the bear season two? You know, it's yeah, one yeah, of the best yeah. shows on television, I think, at the moment. And I'm like, I didn't. There wasn't a huge drip feed of mm. season two of Bear is coming here. This this character's doing that. Who's that? It was like literally it's dropping on yeah. that day yeah, that's in three it. weeks time. Yeah. You know, and it's but I think you can't. There's so much culture now, <coughs> films and movies and you know, mm. everything. I think there isn't a one size fits all. So you can yeah. you can make cases for both yeah, yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. working and and um, yeah and and I think it changes as well. It depends. Mm. Do you know what I mean? We were very locked down with season one. Yeah, you know, and we were very like we want to take it right to the because there was built in anticipation, mm. and that's always going to change in a second and third season for a yeah. doctor. Yeah. You know? yeah, so you're always you know, and the <clears> point they're at now, you know, they've got they've, the built in anticipation yeah. is yeah. amazing. Um, so yeah, it's it's. Um, it's not a fixed thing, you know. It's the thing with so many things with Doctor Who. It feels like things are fixed yeah. and strategies are fixed, and like you're constantly every year going, "Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Should we change that? Can well, we do that?" Well, Stephen Moffat talked about, it, didn't he? You know, with um, doing all the two parts in yeah. series well, yeah. nine and yeah. trying to mix it all like that, and then yeah, and trying to find different ways, yeah, of just engaging you know, and telling freshening the story. it up, and yeah, different ways of telling the story. Yeah. Mm. Um, so. Um, my next question, my next question is, uh, how does it feel to have finished your era on a high? <laughs> oh, on a high? Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay, you it wasn't you... high. <laughs> <laughs> no, it may have seemed like it for about really October, but... like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Well, that's a very nice thing for you to say. I think um, you do... it was nice, that was really well received. Um, I... You don't know, so yeah. you can't know until... Well, it's funny, I was going to say, you can't know until any episode goes out. Yeah. Even then you don't know, because it's like, you can have something that yeah. people just don't quite click to in that moment, that you go, I think in a year people are going to Good really point. understand yeah. what that's mm. trying to do, in yeah. a way that maybe on, on that night, or within the current climate, people aren't quite, you know, so so you can only you can only ever know, have you, how far have it's a very long-winded answer. Okay, okay sorry. Right, go for it. Uh, but it's, but it's like you can, back you, can, <laughs> you can only really know how far you've got towards the yeah. intent of what you're trying to make. Yes. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, you know... It's, it's, you have to, to do it to the point where, effectively, you're happy. Yeah. And, and mm, hope yeah. that that feeling translates to other people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. And yeah. sometimes you're like, 
oh, I think this is a hundred percent there. And yeah. then you watch it go out, and you're like, ah, oh, it's eighty two percent there. Yeah, that's you know, and and vice versa, where you go, I'm just not sure about this one. We, we haven't got it to mm. what we imagined it to be. Yeah, and yet, then the the sum is greater than uh, the the whole is somewhat better. Yes, I know. The whole that, yeah, is that, summer that, is that very much. <laughs> I'm not it's really working day. so much at the moment. You know, <laughs> just, it's summer. Um, yeah, it's, it becomes it becomes its own thing. So, um, but it felt very nice. We had a nice screening. Yeah, yeah. It was. Lovely. I mean, it was lovely to go out as part of the centenary. That actually, course, I was. Yeah. I didn't know how that would play, mm. but it felt like it gave it an extra bit of event. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, and. It was great having the. I felt like the the, the kind of um, links to the past yeah. really played and achieved what I wanted it to, which was just locking that set of stories yeah. into the broader canon and having the doctor, having Jody connect with those other doctors, and just yeah. I just wanted yeah. it really. Kind it was of, done in you know, such a brilliant way, wasn't oh, it? Yeah. You know, but, but and talk you, about secrets as well. Oh yeah, well, we did we, well on those. Oh, <laughs> we, did, we, did. we spoke to Colin, didn't we? Colin Baker, right? A week or so before Power of the Doctor went out, yeah. and he made, he made a comment about. Um, but we what, what we said say? we've heard rumours about you know classic doctors appearing in Power of the Doctor. Can you? No, it's about the companions. We said. Um, because we knew Ace and Tegan yeah. were going to yeah. be in it, so right, 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 yeah. and, uh, and and Colin made the, the quip about saying, "Yes, wasn't it all good about all these old companions coming back? You know, they could have asked us." Yeah, and we said, nice. "Well, maybe next yeah. time, Colin." But he completely get a phone call it. and he, and he yeah, completely <laughs> lied to our faces and he knew, about didn't it. He? So he was keeping the secrets yeah. for you there. You know, I mean, he probably didn't get a phone call. It might have been by email. <laughs> <laughs> so so it he wasn't, may have not been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I don't, thing, but no. also, God bless him for doing that. That's oh, all right. Fantastic. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah, really yeah. good. And, you know, just talking about Colin, he's so mm. good, isn't he? Brilliant. And, yeah. you know, his doctor's had such a reappraisal, isn't he, with yeah. his big finish work. And, yeah. you know, we, we've talked to you know, a couple of his, his audio companions, you know, right. Miranda Basin and Lisa Greenman. They're, that's one of my favourite TARDIS trios, the three of them. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's just mm. brilliant. He was so funny, wasn't he? And, you know, he, he, he you did the intro for that episode, didn't you? I, I did. He, and slightly, I was quite nervous. Yeah. You're me and the Doctor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And he, yeah, did, that, he, he did the um, Doctor for us. You know, he did. It <laughs> was brilliant, you know. Yeah, that's we've so, used that a few times, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah, he, he, he was <laughs> but it's great. But I think it's lovely that he did that. It was an amazing day with. So him and mm. so it was him, um, Sylvester and David did theirs yeah. together, and then Peter and Paul did theirs yeah. th- uh, later. Though. But um, it was great having those guys in. Yeah. I, when they were getting costume, I went in and just yeah. said hello to them. Yeah. It, was just, it was kind of very moving to just be able to go to mm. Colin and go, "Welcome back," yeah. you know, and go, "You're back yeah. on the set of Doctor Who, yeah. where you belong." And you and know, you did and you brought them in in a way that you know they could be. As they are now, yes, not trying very to yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, you know, definitely. kind of move them forward a bit. Mm. And you know, the seven and ace had their, their little moment, and yeah, and the Tegan and oh, Fox. Was it was you really yeah, like that, didn't yeah, you? It was I just did, beautifully think. done, and you know, and just little things the way yeah. Paul isn't wearing robes. Yeah, I don't yeah, do robes, I don't do robes. You know? <laughs> but it's and that is like for me, yeah. in my subconscious, that's mm. like Trout and Pertwee arguing. And yes, doctors. yeah, like I'm like, oh, hang on, they're not all going to get on. Yeah, you know, so even. When they're they're subconscious, they're still yeah, there. Yeah. Kind of but also, I think like when you look at the edit of that as well, what really makes you know Paul obviously delivers everything brilliantly. Yeah. And such presence and he's amazing. There's the the thing that Sylvester the the, the the thing that makes that go really land is Sylvester's expression after yeah. when he just raises yeah. his yes. <laughs> it really rolls his eyes and it's just like it's it's so the detail mm. in those performances yeah. they yeah. they were so good. And I kind of there was a couple of lines throughout the era where. Jody said something about her, you know, the doctor's brain, and I kind of got the feeling yeah. they were sort of maybe hinting that they're all in there all the time, yeah, talking, yeah, you know. And then when you go to the edge there, and and they're morphing and they're all bickering and stuff, yeah. they kind of realise subliminally, yeah, you, you shape. know, because all the memories stay, of course. But I love that idea, like you know, they're all in there. Still. Well, it's you are, you are. I mean, there's the, that line in the Five Doctors of a, a, you know, a man is the sum of his memories, yeah, yeah. you know, and it's but it's 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 sort of a. It's like literally showing that. Yes. Yeah, sort yeah. of taking well, that out of dialogue yes. and, and a time will even more so. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So maybe that's the more so. Isn't yeah. it? I think. Yeah. It, well, yes, and I think yeah. it's it's sort of it is the most sort of metaphysical. You know, mm. you are inside, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. That's the doctor's subconscious. Yeah. 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 Trapped and kind of dying and and mm. sort of 
you know that that's where they are yeah. and and so yeah it's really um it, yeah it was really fun to do and to find that way to do it because i was i didn't yeah. know also i didn't tell anyone when i right. delivered that script <laughs> you and your secrets like, chris i was like but i mean i didn't i don't tell you know often yeah. like i didn't tell them yeah. about spyfall that the master was going to be in it and i just <laughs> sent it into nikki and matt and the script to you know and then and nikki sort of <laughs> takes them going the <laughs> I was like, good, that works. <laughs> I love that. Ray said that when he got the script for, yeah. for Once Upon Time. Oh, yeah. And he said, but that's brilliant that you do, you, you're, you're keeping things secret from, from them mm. to well, surprise them and get a well, reaction. Well, they're your first audience. Yeah. You know, so yeah. often they go, you know, if they don't get it, you kind of like, oh, hang on, okay, I need yeah. to do that. But, but, also, but also sometimes you're just discovering the way while you're writing and actually a lot of spyfall when I was in the first thing was just mm. like I was caught, it had been storyline but then when I was looking at it and he wasn't in it then I was suddenly like oh of course this I looked at the whole story <laughs> and went this is a plot by the master <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you just went, and then, of course it is and sometimes know, like yeah. you know the script finds itself in a way yeah, it? yeah yeah and, yeah, and, yeah yeah well you I think you need to keep open mm. and also yeah well also your um the, the show yeah. like tells you yeah. it's like you're in this world and you're like, in this yeah, story yeah. Like, the thing if I was the doctor the person I would be mm. you know or if you know if I'm looking at it I'm going that seems like a very you know convoluted plan with somebody with a real grudge yeah. Yeah. I wonder who that could be <laughs> um, so yeah it's um, yeah that, it's interesting that end of Spoilful Part 1 just brilliant oh, it's what, my, one of my favourites oh what yeah. a shocker and also there's so many little bits that Jodie does across everything mm. that are tiny little moments that I love mm. that when she, she climbs into the back of the plane on, and she goes she's in yeah <laughs> yes. like, it's so silly yeah, that yeah, was yeah. brilliant yeah. And, yeah. I, and I don't know whether that's it's scripted that or yeah, you know, it's, I think that's even ADR is because sometimes you watch because that's yeah. you always do a last pass on ADR yeah, so that's sure. the, the yeah. additional dialogue for, I'm sure most people listen to this yeah. know but, you, but what I always make sure mm. is I did a final pass so you've got the locked picture and sometimes there are gaps, but also sometimes you go, well, there's a little joke there, or, yeah. oh no, the, the doctor there is going to say that, and yeah. it makes her more uh, like a child. Yes. That yeah. She's, yeah. she's yeah. delighted. Yeah. You know? yeah. She's yeah. running into a place. And, yeah. and that's one of the things, yeah. you know, like that, that childish yeah. you know, nature in, in her. And you know, we'll talk about it a bit more later, but it, it's like um, in Eve of the Daleks, where she, she says the line about the watch. Do you remember that one? Yes, I'm not yeah. even wearing yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still, yeah. that's one of my most watch. used gifts on Twitter. I love it. It's such, oh. a, it's such a funny, you know, silly line again. It is just, ridiculous. Yeah. And then what sells it mm. is Jodie's physicality. Yeah. Her performance yeah. is like there's so many ways to deliver that line, but it's mm. such a. I think what um, can I don't, I don't necessarily think go under the radar, but for want of a better phrase, yeah. it's like her clowning yeah. it across the whole mm. era and, and is so integral to her doctor. Yes. Yeah. Her physical clowning skills. Yeah. And a lot of it is really subtle. It's yeah. like cinematic clowning. Yeah. But it's like, she just is so magnificent. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we love her, don't we? Totally. Yeah. Like, yeah. F- from, I was going to talk about it a bit more later, but I'll just do it now. We can <laughs> jump around. We're just having a <laughs> We can jump around. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'll pour myself some more tea. From, from, <laughs> So I'm not much your host, am I? Because I feel I should be pouring that for you, Chris. Uh, I, I, we're not tea. standing on. It's a very flat tree, team structure. So you're fine. <laughs> flat very flat tea structure. <laughs> flat tea structure. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great. Joey Wilkinson wrote like that. Like, that one. It's fantastic. I love it. So Actually, just talking about um, other writers then, because yes. you, you had a whole writers room yes. thing mm, going yes. on, didn't and that you? was a real first, wasn't it? Yeah. For a, sh- a show like Who in in the UK, because mm, I remember you yeah. talking before, you had to get certain things done within the BBC to be able to kind of yes. action it. We had to, we yeah. had to do a whole different yeah. sort of um, contractual structure and get permission from the Writers Guild and all, oh, all really? that. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, 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 yeah. It was a very, very convoluted thing. Yeah. Um, uh, but it was great and, you know, it was, I mean, it, it was it was sort of born out of wanting to bring in mm. a, a kind of n- new wave of writers but also knowing it's a very very hard show to write yeah. so how what support structures can you put in place it wasn't just a I oh, fancy work like this it was like actually that's the kind of best way to really kind of establish your yeah. tone so so for me to be able to communicate tone to all of these same people in the same room at the same so, time continually yeah, yeah. and that you see how all the other stories are developing because normally on shows and, and on Doctor Who, historically, mm. what you do, you, you know, having done it as sort of as an episodic writer, you come in, you write your episode. Yeah. You might get told, oh, the one before you is a 
cowboy one, yeah, and yeah, then there's the yeah. Weeping Angels afterwards, you know, and yeah. then you're like, and go off and write that. And, and um, it's okay if you were a little bit into the era, you know what the tone is, and yeah. the, but what I knew what we were going to do would feel slightly different yeah. and um, would look a bit different. Yeah. And so you, you sort of want to be communicating that so that the writers believe it, yeah. you know, so yeah. they're not writing Doctor Who for from sort else. of, you know, 20, 30 years mm. ago or, or, you know, whatever. Um, uh, and also I wanted them to have that sense of collegiate I, it's a very lonely job I like yeah, writing yeah, yeah. is actually quite a lonely job yes, yeah. um, uh, I don't mean a showrunner although discuss um, <laughs> but, but but really, as a as a writer, because well, you think, well, how are we? You just know, even a PC screen, yeah, 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 and the, the whole of the yeah. universe, yeah, 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 and yeah, no budget, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, yeah, that's the other thing, isn't it? Who is unlike any show ever anywhere yeah. else? Is it? Yeah. You know, uh, completely. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we've talked about this before as well. But you know, yeah. one week it's a western, one week it's in the yeah. future, and yeah. you know, it, it's not just the writing of it, but it's the, it's the entire yeah. production of it yeah. as well. And because you, know, you, you have, you're exactly right, and it, you know, because the obvious thing being, you have no precinct, you have no, mm. you have one standing set, yeah. which you kind of don't really want to use that much because if you're sat in the TARDIS all the episode, you've got no yeah. episode. Yeah. Yeah. Flat, um, yeah. uh, with you know notable brilliant exceptions. But, yeah, just think about those now. Actually. Yeah, you know, there's sort two of two episodes written. of Cast from Alva. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, uh, but then that would have been a new build because exactly. they were all corridors yeah, new, yeah, so it's still like a new set. Yeah. Uh, so yeah you're so so yes for the production it's mm. like everything is every um you know six weeks yeah. you're building a whole new yeah. planet yeah. You're, yeah. Build, you, you're doing all new costumes you're doing it's all new cars phenomenal work, you know yeah. let alone the the, the, the scripts but mm. actually yeah every yeah, every department it is i mean it's one of the great joys of it yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's unlimited in it's, its creative options yeah and, it is and it's um uh, and that, so it's that sort of you know it's it's like incredible, yeah. but also then that's what makes it so demanding yes, for everyone. Yeah, and yeah. and um, you are working within, um, you know, obviously every show is you're working in very specific limits as well. You yeah, know. not now, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Russell and the yeah. gang, yeah. amazing. <laughs> I mean that's exciting. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, but the, but that's what's the joy of it. To yeah. be honest, as yeah. you go, what yeah. can we do? Okay, we want to do this story. How do we do it? Yeah, you know. That's yeah. That um, it's quite amazing, really, to you know, to to sit down to think of something for it, and you could just do anything. Yeah, go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. There's no restrictions. You know. Yeah. Until they go, oh, this is this this is how much money this episode's got. You go. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So it must be that kind of push and pull between what you want to achieve, what you know you set out to do, and actually the reality of it and the budget and everything yeah. else. Or yeah, because does that you can test the creativity. Yes, it does. I mean, it's it's that's why you need a writer producer in there because mm, you, mm. you, I think you. It, it's kind of why I wanted to come in with a very clear sense yeah. of what I wanted to do because I think you could easily go into that job and just go, well, we're just going to do um, m more yeah. of yeah. Doctor Who, yeah. um, and and you. I felt like for me to do the job, what I needed was a sense of purpose for the time we were on it Going, yeah well yeah. It's, it's your era isn't it you know and, and yeah I never like that like I, I'm, I'm used to people saying it now but I'm like whenever anybody <laughs> said so era. what can we expect from the chip era I was like oh, <laughs> oh imagine somebody coming up to either of you guys now so, like, tomorrow I go, and so for the you know this era yeah. what, what's that going to be your yeah. era and you're like Era. Uh, I don't yes. live in yeah. eras. I, I must admit, <laughs> anyone who listens to the podcast will know I do try and find different ways of describing <laughs> yes. periods within yeah. Doctor Who. Yeah. But actually, you always fall back into using era because it's just simple, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not incorrect. Yeah. It's just, yeah. it's, as a human being, when somebody yeah. says the Chibnall era, I'm like, well, we're sitting on the Jurassic Coast, aren't we? Yeah. The Jurassic <laughs> era. Yeah, yeah. It's the rocks over yeah. there. That's the era. Uh, yeah. that's you it. want it to. You know, to be yours, don't you, and and to represent, you know, obviously with the rights from sort, but that defined, you know, vision for how you want it to be, and yeah, I think I suppose what I, what we talked about at the beginning, mm. I talked about it with with Piers Wenger, who's obviously the head of drama, yeah. and, and actually there were like three head of dramas as I was coming <laughs> in. There was like Ben Stevenson, and then there was um, yeah. Polly Hill, and then there was then there was Piers, but actually was a, was a sense of purpose, and also. Uh, and I know this, you know, mm. in infuriates some people, but it's like it's it's not just doing the things the show has always done. Yeah, because it yes. felt like it was an uh, an inflection point. It felt like not just the show was TV drama was the world was, and yeah. you can't ignore that. And and also 
So you know, pr- so so in terms of inclusion, in terms of production mm. um, levels, in terms of what we were competing well, with, the show you know, but never looked better. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's just about to, well, you know, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is great yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's all you know. You it, always want well, everything push it evolves. Yeah. But as a, yeah. as a Doctor Who fan, what you mm. always want is you want the next one to be even better, yes. you know. Yeah, yeah. And and so you know, and that's what I feel about the next mm. one. Now I'm like, great, I know it's going to look better yeah. than what we've done. I am. It's so excited about that. Yeah. Um, but I think coming in, it was a sense of, yeah. what are you going to do with it? Why are you still making Doctor Who other than that they're still making Doctor Who? Yeah. Like, what are you doing with Did this you, era? Yeah. And yeah. I also thought, and again, you know, these are quite kind of uh, grand thoughts. Yeah. It, it, you know, I, I'm, as I say, in self-mockery. But, <laughs> but it's like, well, what if you're a kid and you start watching mm. with Jodie, and I knew there would be kids who started watching yeah. with Jodie for all sorts of reasons. Yeah. I mean, that there's a kid who starts watching with every doctor. Yeah, you know exactly. Yeah. Um, but, you know, what when you're out the other side, when Jodie's finished, what have you taken from that? What stories have mm. you seen? What themes have we dealt with? What lessons have you learned for your life? You know, can you, can you live your life according to an era of Doctor Who? If yeah, you're yeah. eight, let's say, when Jodie's era begins, and that I just felt I wanted to give it that purpose, and which is a moral purpose, mm. and, and along with everything else, so so that felt very important, and I just wanted to feel like it was really connected to um, what was happening in the world, mm. because also I thought when we came in, it was a very destabilised and turbulent world. Yeah, it's not really any less no <laughs> any yeah. any more stable or less yeah. turbulent yeah. now. But I really felt it felt like if you were kids then it was yeah. a very odd time. You know, there were lots mm. of things going on that felt like the firmament was cracking a bit. And what I wanted was a hopeful doctor and yeah. so stories that would say it's okay, diff- difficult things happen, but it's going to be all right. And actually, the way it's going to be all right is through heroic actions, moral actions, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. being good people, calling out um, uh, the, the things that are evil yeah, into yeah. a greater and lesser degree. I, I love that. What, one of the, my questions was about the the hope and optimism yeah. within yeah. Jodie's yeah. Doctor, yeah. which was so... Really the the Doctor's always had that, but yeah, like Paul said, it's, it's really strong and it's obviously a, a conscious decision Yes, to, we to talked about that. her as a beacon of hope mm. yeah. from the start. It, that's what I wrote, isn't it? You did write like, that, yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you um, get a sticker. There, there was <laughs> that, the, the speech in um, Spyfall, I think it's in part two, about you know, darkness never mm. sustains and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then the, the a, a cupboard, uh, you know, the wardrobe yeah. video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, the world was a, you know, awful place at the time, but, yes. but those bits came out mm. and were, were like, a, you know, beacons of light in, yeah. and I think meant a lot to Good. a lot of people. And I was going to say earlier, when um, Jodie first appeared and she said, oh, oh brilliant, I thought, oh, this is exciting. <laughs> and then obviously we had to wait for a woman who fell to earth and then <clears throat> yeah, sat down and watched that. Yeah. I thought, this is awesome. And then I was, you know, already really hooked and then... Paul knows this, but in, it was Ghost Monument when the TARDIS appears at the end. Yeah, N- not ashamed to say, I sat there crying, <laughs> tears of joy, and, and, and it was the most yeah. Such a beautifully suffering. written, scored, yeah, shot, acted, mm. scene. I mean, amazingly oh. directed. And oh, scored, yeah, the yeah. whole thing yeah. is, is, is yeah. like that's my favourite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mark and, and, and the reveal yeah. of, of the TARDIS, and yeah. um, you know that's my favourite bit of all of who. Oh, oh wow. now you know yeah. watching now, but. The, that was when I was like, this, this is it, you know, I, I love it yeah. more than ever now. And, oh, you that's know, a lovely thing to It say. was Thank just, you. it's wonderful. My only complaint is I would have liked to see the biscuit dispenser more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get into stories, yeah. though, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she was, you know, that's one of the things we love, isn't it? The, mm. the hope and the, you know, the, yeah. the, the optimism, the yeah. compassion, and, and you know, the, all those really positive qualities yeah, that yeah. the doctors always had. But, you know, with the Doctor's character over different actors, you know, they bring certain things out. So we've yeah. seen a lot more of the, the, the more conflicted mm. or, or, you know, the more, not not violent, but the the side of the 10th Doctor, so for, uh, 10th Doctor, for example, which is more towards looking for conflict, mm. you know, mm-hmm. to, to resolve things through, through uh, some, it's almost like a violent action in some way, certainly with the 12th Doctor. So then we suddenly get this, this, this kind of spin around mm. and, you know, nothing's been lost. But we've shifted things into the more compassionate side. Yeah. I, that's what I kind of yes. felt. I think with that's what I was thing. looking for. I mean, you're always fighting against mm. the structure of the show, mm. yeah. because you're yeah. often ending with 
something that is a conflicted mm. resolution. Yeah. Um, uh, and, it, and it is about two, you know, uh, uh, pillars of force, yeah, you know, yeah. hitting each other. Yeah. Um, uh, but I think... But this is the amazing thing about the con- construct of the Doctor over time, mm. isn't it? Is that all of these flavours are in there. Yeah, they're all there. And yeah, I think exactly. it's, yeah. what's also nice is you... You know that the mm. sort of Peter's Doctor had really covered that territory yeah, brilliantly yeah, yes. and comprehensively, mm. and it, it was like actually, yeah. you know, what you want to be doing is 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 going okay. What can we do mm. that is is different from that? Because he's he's, he's done, done that, and it goes arc yeah. across yeah. his, his and doctor. that was brilliant. Yeah. So, and it goes yeah. back yeah. to something really you said done. earlier about mm. you need to keep it fresh yeah. and and interesting to, to keep people engaged. And um, if if you you might have heard on the podcast, I like you too. And Bono once said, <laughs> Never say. As long as they keep it interesting for themselves, mm. they hope it will be interesting for the audience. Right, right, you know? right. And yeah, so, yeah. you know, they push into the pop era where it's more dancey and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, and they do stuff like that. And, you know, it's not going to work for everyone every time. Different albums for different. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's like, inevitable. You know, yeah, I you've think. got you two stuff that you don't like, whereas, whereas yeah, I love it, you know. Loads. But. I, I think you forget. Just, just leave it now. Just okay, leave it. <laughs> I'm, I'm cut that. But um, yeah, you, it has to refresh and yeah. bend yeah. a little bit. Let's move on. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a living Progress, thing. I mean, yeah. The show doesn't last sixty years without kind of you know moving itself forward. Yeah. Well, no, I mean I always think like when we were doing mm. Jodie's first season and 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 a couple of people said, "Well, you're changing quite a lot, are you?" And I was like. What was it like yeah. watching the last episode of the War Games, yeah. and then watching the first mm. episode of exactly. Heaven's Face yeah. a few months later? Yeah. Yeah. That is not the same show, no. like, really at all. It's such an extraordinary yeah. leap. Yes. Um, it's a massive shift, and yeah. and yet yeah, it's the same show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the it's, DNA it's, yeah. persists, doesn't because it? Because there's yeah. certain things, you know, the TARDIS, mm. the Doctor, the values, the fact that you're fighting monsters, yeah. your fact you can yeah. go into his, you know, all of those kind of things. It's still it's a very elastic thing. Now sometimes mm. it's more elastic. You know, some people will go, well, that's no, you've snapped it, or it's, yeah. you know, you've mm. pulled it too far, or but you want to be testing it, yeah. it, and the fact you can be doing that yeah. after sixty years Absolutely. is, is yeah. incredible, and, amazing, and it's why yeah. it's my yeah. favourite show. And because there's other shows yeah. where I go, oh, okay, I understand, you know, another yeah. other cinematic universes where I'm like, sort of the same story, yeah. you know, yeah. and uh, doing it brilliantly, but you know, it's not. Yeah. They could go much further and be yes, a soldier. You've got you know. to push it. Yeah. Um, but also, but I, you know, I'm really aware. Also, other people are just like, no, no, we, we would like it, like it. It's got to be that, yeah. you know. Well, and that's you, you know, see also music, fair enough. You see it in music as well, yes. don't you? We talked yes. about this as well. <laughs> you know, like um, uh, someone on Twitter said, uh, you you mm. develop your taste in music and it stops in your mid thirties, right? And you kind of get stuck <laughs> oh, in that style afterwards. And then not long after, I was talking to my wife and she yeah. said. Oh, the killers were. Um, he came out to play with Elton John at, at yes. Glastonbury. Yes. Yeah. And and people on Twitter were saying, "Oh, why didn't he do Mr. Brightside?" And I said, "Well, there's, <laughs> there's 20 years of songs after that." Yeah, yeah, know, yeah, but, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I, I I like kind of moving forward and developing yeah. stuff, and you know, mm. it keeps it interesting. Something's flickering over there, isn't it? I think it's yeah. called sunshine, Jeff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just going to say as well, just just popped into my head. Um, to my kids, they they know I love Doctor Who, and um, but to them, the Doctor is Jodie. And when That's I was looking on my mm. shelf of DVDs and stuff a little while ago, and one of the girls, Phoebe, she came over and she, she took one out. She said, what's this? And it was it was David's Doctor. I said, That's Doctor Who. It's a boy. Doctor Who's a girl. She said, and I thought, yeah. that works I for me. You know. I know, I love that. Yeah. I, I love that. And I love that now it's both. Mm. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It's, yeah. it's great. Yeah. yeah, I'm really pleased about that. But also, that it, it, it's that because mm. Jodie was just so incandescently yeah. good. Yeah. You know, it was yeah. so great in every moment, every scene. It yeah. worked so hard. But it was just, you know, surpassed all our expectations. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she, she. We, we'll talk a bit more about her a bit, a bit later. Yeah, yeah. Should yeah. we move on to um, we'll question change, number change four? Topic, <laughs> yeah. Are we on four. Yeah. How long have you got? A couple of days. No, we've got <laughs> It's pretty. I tell you what. Do you know? Would you mind if we took a little segue into Broadchurch? And I'll tell you why. You because you want. a, we're kind of sitting yeah. near enough to the location, yeah, yeah. It, so it would seem rude not to. But also because I'm a, I'm a massive, massive fan of it as, as well. And, I, oh, and I, I wanted to ask you, because it was such a big success. Yeah. Um, have you always had an interest in detective dramas or yes. thrillers or that? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, um, uh, when I was, I guess when I was mm. growing up learning to read, kind of, I don't know what, 
I'm just trying to think. I can I can date it by where I was living at that point. <laughs> but probably sort of you know ten, eleven onwards, yeah. maybe a little bit later. Like I was reading Doctor Who novelizations yeah. and Agatha Christie, oh, and wow, I was brilliant. like every mm-hmm. Agatha Christie. Uh, I read between that. Yeah. Those were really the two things, you know. Um, so yes, I have, and I think you know also TV thrillers, you know, mm. things like Edge of Darkness that were yeah, when I was yeah. you know a kid um, or a teenager. And mm. uh, so yeah, I always always been into those, and and, yeah. and you can absolutely you know Broadchurch is essentially an Agatha Christie. Yeah, you know, yeah. sort of put into a modern it is, yeah, shell, kind of but it's, it, yeah, yeah, completely. You know, but then, yeah. but then it's got that kind of. Mm. It has extra, extra kind of um, uh, an extra sort of emotional yeah. kind of uh, impetus to it that that she didn't do. So it's like you yeah. you, you go, oh, this is what we can bring to it, and this is what we can mm. add. I don't mean that against Arthur Christie because she is the the grand dame. Yeah. Of the yeah. grand dame so she is extraordinary. Um, yeah. So, yeah, no, always, always mm. interested in in that stuff, and and also I loved all those great TV. Who don't you yeah. think about Hugh shot Jr. and yes. things like that? Yeah. And, you know, it, it, it became yeah. you know a, a phenomenon, really, didn't it? You know, I remember quite c- clearly my my wife's best friend, Natalie, yeah. if she's listening, I give her a shout. out <laughs> Texting, we've watched Boyle Church tonight. Have you watched it? Yeah, no, not yet. You know, yeah. blah, blah. oh, you know, it's a good one. And, and people were, it was like a water cooler thing. It wasn't was it? a awesome. bit. I mean, with the distance now, yeah. I mean, mm. it's taken me a long time to process it. Yeah, but, uh, uh, yeah. I think it it, it was because it 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 um it grew across the week so it's yes. not like it came in at week one and was yeah, a massive like with, um, it was like week yeah, four or five I was like opening the papers and I was like why is there two pages in the news section <laughs> about who the suspects are and stuff that happens yeah. with some stuff doesn't it like uh, Line of Duty or yeah, yeah, yeah Line of Duty yeah, is another yeah, big yeah, one yeah my wife yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 so I didn't see it all yeah. but you know it, it does mm. happen and yeah. it comes out and then people, you know that word because everybody's talking about who they yeah. think it is yeah. and, I think and, it, uh, that's the great thing about who done it is it gives yeah. you that language mm. so you in a way so you're sort of talking about the show but you're not talking about the show yeah. so you're speculating above and beyond what you've seen yeah. you're like oh maybe this and you, you're yeah. kind of engaged yeah. with it and, and also that um, keeping things re- released on a weekly schedule I think mm. is really good for that it was the, it was the Disney people who talked about that mm. with WandaVision and things going out weekly yeah I love that I loved WandaVision yeah. I loved it and, coming and then weekly. everyone is it's pretty much on the same page each week. Yeah. You know, where, so yes. you, you can't binge it and then you can all kind yeah. of go along and, you know. There's something really interesting in that. I agree because I think, where, I don't know about you guys, but, but now when I'm talking to people about what yeah. I'm watching, the conversation basically becomes, have you seen? Yeah, mm. yeah. And somebody will go, oh yeah, we did that. And mm. then it's like, there's no conversation. Yeah. And they're instead of going, because you go, oh, oh don't God. spoil it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So somebody goes, have you seen The Bear? Have you seen Hijack? <laughs> you know, both great shows. Um, uh, and you're not going, oh my God, yeah. see what happened yeah. last week. You're not, you're not into that, like, that, that kind of water coolery conversation yeah. Yeah. as in, is it him? Did you see what he yeah. said to her? Did they do, you know, yeah, who's, yeah. who's H? In yeah. Line of Duty? It, yeah. You, it, the binge thing does mitigate against that. I mean, it is just, uh, again, it's not like one's better or worse, but yeah. you, mm. you lose a bit of that, but what you do get is, oh, wow. You, yeah. know, you, get, yeah. you get high art because you know that people can pay mm. attention to it yeah. in a way that you couldn't have done in 2005, yeah. for yes. example, yes. where you just yeah. like, you couldn't do a really internecine yeah. woven serialized through yeah. it because people would be like, well, there was no, you know, <laughs> iPlayer in the same way. And there's yeah. no, yeah. you know, it was like, you yeah. couldn't, like you you couldn't the, follow it. The landscape's changed and p- people are more yeah. used to it, that sort of it's, stuff. I yeah. mean, it's been utterly revolutionized in the yeah. time I've been working television, yeah. but I also think like at the moment, what's happening at the moment, and nobody knows where it's going. Yeah. Uh, like is it binge is it weekly you know because some are, yeah. some obviously yeah. some are going back to it yeah. some are moving further away from it there's going to be all this consolidation mm-hmm. there's going to be a big retrenchment in how much drama is produced so it's like it's a really febrile time yeah. in television yeah. Yeah. yeah does that kind of thing inform the way you structure a series do you think do you kind of yeah. try to think well actually people are probably going to binge this but we talked so about cliffhangers didn't we a little while ago and and you know how important we felt they they are. Yeah, and, mm-hmm. and um, Village of the Angels is my <coughs> favourite Doctor Who cliffhanger. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was pleased with that. <laughs> really, my wife enjoyed it. Uh, she doesn't really always watch Doctor Who, <coughs> yeah. and um, I, I remember sitting there going, 
you know, what the fuck? And she said, what is it? What is it? And I said, look, look. And then She's got wings now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are they going to get out of that? And then we did our um, episode review immediately. Oh, oh my goodness, Chris, like, you should have uh, seen him. He was up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, my God, but oh, my God. Those kind of moments, yeah. particularly in Who, are... You know the That's thing what that we're talking about earlier, wasn't it? Yeah, about drive you to watch. Them. They do, yeah. they do. I mean, I think it's something in our first season we could have done more of. You know, and I, I think you know the reasons we didn't. Yeah. And, and um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it when we really got into sort of the two parties in mm. the season, in the second season we did. Um, yeah, they, they are. I think that, that yeah, they they absolutely are. They're really great, and they're a, a feature of. Doctor Who, obviously, but to your point of like, you know, mm. you know, does it, does it, um, does the form or, or the delivery system mm. kind yeah, of, yeah, in, yeah. you know, inform how you're writing it? Um, yeah, it, it does, and and actually, I think, mm. I mean, I know, I'm, you know, I'm, um, I'm pausing. I'm not sure I'm allowed to say. It. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm doing something for a streamer which will shoot next year. Mm. But it's what's interesting is. Yeah. Um, it is really important to them that people yeah, go yeah. on to the next episode yeah. and, and complete the whole thing. The completion so, and and yeah. next episodes. So you I think you can see it in the way mm. stories are structured on streamers. Yes, yeah. You can you can spot some of them where you go, oh, do you know what you've had to add a first two minutes in the edit yeah, yeah. because you haven't had a really hooky first two yeah, minutes. Some people yeah. switch off a lot after the first mm. two minutes on streamers. Yeah, I read that yeah. um people will do sort of mini binge sessions, watch Two episodes, then the first ten minutes of the th- third one, yeah. to see what the yeah. cliffhanger resolution yeah. is. Then go to bed, and then you know do it the next night, and yeah. then carry on, and it's such a yeah, odd, odd, it's kind know. of crazy. I don't, though, yeah, I think it's, yeah. it's a bit by bit, but you know, we, we, and we talked about it with, mm. um, when we were doing Doctor Who with Charlotte yeah. Moore because you know early on I said, is there a point where you would ever? Oh, I, I was talking about in our era, you know, because obviously everything changes all the time. But, but I was like, would you ever yeah. put it, you know, as a as a box set, mm, you know? Mm, right. And she was like, absolutely not. It, we need it to oh, be right. week by week an event. Like yeah, said, yeah. she said, there are some shows, and this is so. This is twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she yeah. was like, strictly line of duty, Doctor yeah. Who. You know, we need people coming back to the yeah. channel. You know, it's not enough to just be, you know. And and I wonder. I think that will change as, point, as time goes on. Yeah, but it's, yeah, you yeah. also need to have a destination for people mm. to click on iPlayer, yeah, yeah. you know, and to, sure. to and yeah. but also to turn on the television. It so, it's, so it's really complex. Like yeah. there's no, yeah. like anybody says, oh, we're going towards an entirely binge. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's the case. No. You also look at all these um, ad supported channels, free ad supported mm. channels that yeah. now that are coming online with their own originals and stuff like that. You go, well, that's sort of basically ITV again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's really mad. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really almost, mad. It almost seems like nobody quite knows. No, no it's not almost. Go, so. Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, nobody yeah, knows. It's nobody knows. Nobody knows. Like, and all the people yeah. who said they knew 10 years ago are now losing can, billions a year on their streaming yeah, programs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not everyone, yeah. but you know, the Disney's and the Paramount's yeah, and, you no, know, it's true. The, and the yeah. Warner Brothers, you know, so it's a really, it's, you, it's rocky scene. They thought it would be you know the saviour stuff didn't they yeah. and, and you know I, I remember and in some ways it has you know it there's has, a, definitely yeah. an element of it, that. it is and, and I think it was the day lockdown yeah. went into yeah. effect Disney Plus it's launched, Disney launched. Yeah. 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 people were yeah. like oh, how did they, well, yeah. what did they I mean, pay for I've that I've got time to watch it as well <laughs> yeah you know you, you were all at yeah. home and it was perfect timing yeah. but yeah like you say now you know, they spent all this money on it and they're particularly like with, you know with Disney and stuff they're trying to kind of claw it back a little bit and make streaming it's, make money well because it's not there's no economic model no mm. there's the, everybody followed Netflix but Netflix well, is Netflix economic is model a, a loss making yeah. it's, it's it, it, built it, on yeah. Yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. even at, like we talked about earlier but like, I'm terrible at maths but you know if, if a show yeah. um, you know is, is watched X amount of times and they're sketchy on all those numbers anyway aren't they, they? Are, yeah, yeah. but people are paying a five a yeah. month yeah how does that money get split across all the people who've written it and acted and well it, hence the strikes it, it doesn't it doesn't yeah, yeah, exactly yeah, that's not yeah. how they it, 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 it doesn't work at all uh, yeah. yeah yeah it's really true so it's a yeah really crazy time so yeah I think it has impacted yeah. story shapes mm-hmm. um, but in fact going back to Broadchurch the, yeah. the, when we were doing it on ITV um, there was a real 
kind of deep, we all took a deep breath because they were yeah. like, this is, so this is 2013, so we're making it in 2012, and they were like, we don't do serialised drama. Really? They were, yeah, they were like, yeah. You know, Downton's our biggest serialised thing, but really that's quite it's episodic. Quite an episode mm. a week with Yeah, you can follow it. it. They were like, yeah. nothing else mm. is serialised, and we were like, if people don't turn up for episode one, yeah. you know, if that's just a 1.5 million, you know, on ITV in yeah, 2013, yeah. and we were like, we are screwed. You yeah. know, we could have been off by week three, and it was like, and we did, you know, solid yeah, week one, yeah. and then it, I think, stayed about the same for week two, and then week three, and then week four, it's just yeah. suddenly, suddenly started to shoot up. And you realise that what was happening is people were watching, on mm. the people who hadn't, so people who were watching stayed with it, yeah. and then they were telling their friends, and they were catching up Catch on Sky right, Plus yeah. and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, but, so, but yeah, it was very much like, I was like, they've got to have big cliffhangers to bring yeah. people in, mm. but they were like, well, Yes, we but don't do we do, well. We, you know, and then and then of course it was, yeah. it was like everything was like that within three years. So, yeah, it, yeah it's it's really mad. It, you definitely, yeah. the form is informed by mm. the current atmosphere of TV, um, and it was part, and also what's coming before you, yeah. what the current climate. That's what I mean by like Doctor Who. Every iteration of Doctor Who exists in its own time. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. It's but, like yeah. the two thousand five Doctor Who exists like can you do Buffy on a Saturday yeah, night yeah, yeah. you know in, in that way with those yeah, kind of things exactly. and it absolutely, absolutely yeah. over, mm. over delivers on mm. that um, but whereas you know when we were coming in it was like yeah. okay so this is a kind of a, a sort of a um, an entry point so you want to do mm. single episodes mm. so it doesn't feel difficult doesn't feel like there's any barrier to entry all that kind of stuff you know I know that people can mistake what I'm saying there by going well there's never been a barrier to entry which is absolutely <laughs> true that's not what I'm saying I'm saying I'm saying it, it's but it's, from new you wanted the thing if you just stumbled across it, it yeah if you're, yes yeah, yeah and that you're, you're getting a different you're getting historical you're yeah, getting yeah. a sci-fi one you're getting a but but you're always getting your self-contained yeah, things yeah. and you're not needing to know anything about the past yeah. week you but know? there's um i think stan lee said every marvel comic is someone's first marvel comic. yeah it's yeah. really true isn't you know, it yeah and so yeah. um yeah some stuff if you just tune in on episode four yeah you might think oh, I got, what's going yeah. on mm. you know but with who yeah you know at least it you know mostly you, you could just join the adventure yeah, and yeah, yeah. go with it. Yeah, you know, and there's, yeah. there's jumping on points. Yeah. It's kind of, you know, Woman Who Fell to Earth, for example, but yeah, exactly. by and large, yeah. you can just tune in on any of it. Yeah, and it's weird because none of this is absolute. Mm. It's like no, all, of these, it. yeah. all of these answers yeah. are, well, we did it like that yeah. because that's what felt right at the time. Mm. Can you imagine doing it the opposite way around? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine, exactly. a, yeah. you know, yeah. if we went back there and they went, actually, because I remember a lot of people yeah. asking me when I joined, mm. I remember Mark Lawson from The Guardian going, oh, are you going to do a serialised Doctor Who? Yeah. I was yeah. like, no, <laughs> never do that. <laughs> they tried <laughs> that with a piece two, of time. And post-pandemic. <laughs> well, like, yeah, you yeah. know, and it's like, and it's, never it's like <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's, um, so yeah, it's like, yeah. You, you're just sort of, I think, um, it's funny with Doctor because you know it's going to be rewatched, yeah, you know it's yeah. going to live on, and yet it's also got to be quite immediate, and it's yeah. got to be of the moment in terms of the form, where it sits, how it sits. Yeah, it's definitely. very yeah, um, yeah. Um, temporary as well as being yeah. really permanent in terms of you know people will rewatch, you know that there'll be steel books, yeah, you know yeah. that they'll be on it. So it's a really interesting. I think Thanks. also it, it, it kind of I mean we said it earlier going from the war games to spearhead from space yeah. you know as another, another good thing like you said you know there's a big shift in terms there but that first John Pertwee season is very much of its time yeah. and it could only have existed at that moment yes. in 1970 when yes. you look they had the, the Avengers all been going mm. on late 60s yeah. the Man from Uncle Mission yeah. Impossible series yeah. all those big things going on Jason King and everything yeah. Yeah. and let's put Doctor Who in there and it absolutely works yeah. you know you yeah. could, probably couldn't have done it much later or much earlier well imagine if that's what we'd done in our first season yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. imagine if I went I'm going to set it all yeah. on earth so we yeah. set within a military establishment yeah. Yeah. and there's going to be these no, new regulars no six yeah. of them yeah. 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 You know, no songs going to be seven episodes long yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> you imagine <laughs> but it's if, but I mean it's, it's really interesting because I mean that that what we've just been talking about here yeah. about you know the whole binge not binge and that sort of thing yeah it's got to come down to I think a lot of it, anyway, has got to come down to the strength of the story, hasn't it? And, yes. and and how you can hook people, like you said, if you haven't got a strong hook sometimes in the first two minutes, then yeah. you've probably lost a, a whole chunk of audience. Yeah. So that must be that must be 
you know, when you're writing something like Broadchurch, yeah. you've got to hook them, you've got to yeah. present the, the, the big mystery here yeah. and then very quickly have just enough things yeah. to keep people watching yeah, yes. but then also pepper it through the series well, as well so you know where you're going to go start of episode three and you need to wrap things up well, a little bit yeah and it's I, like you've got sorry no this, i was just gonna say i think on that note people often these days expect all the answers immediately and that's not how it works, is it? You know, you, you, you need those reasons to keep coming back and yeah. discover. Yeah, yourself. well, it's, you want to be doing both, don't you? You want a little bit of, yeah. uh, you know, moment to moment satisfaction. Yeah. Yes. And then, but uh, uh, really, what you, it's like having, yeah. you know, with the brooch, it's like having eight saucepans on the yeah. stove. Yeah, yeah. And you go, yeah. well, that one up, <laughs> yeah. floor, that that's one down, that's going to yeah. wait yeah. till yeah. the end, that yeah. one's coming up. And then you, it's really like that. And yeah. Then, and then hopefully at a certain yeah. point you're going, okay, now everything to a crescendo yeah. is, is kind of... It's all coming to the boil. What you're doing, yeah. and, you know, and, and, yeah. and certainly I think in probably in our second season, mm. you know, in, in season 12, it's, um, I, I felt like we were doing that in, mm. in terms of a lot of the kind of serialised storytelling. So, yeah. so um, but yeah, it is, mm. it is, you, you do need to, you're constantly trying things out you know yeah, uh, yeah. and that's the that's the joy but it's also you, you know it's um it's the joyous thing about working on doctor who is yeah. you, it, it, it does allow you to do that yes. and, and what's great about the bbc is they're very happy it was i'm very aware what we yeah. did was had a different mm. tone and a slightly different flavor and a you know and it's like it, it's but they wanted that you know yeah, yeah. that's yeah, the thing yeah. and they, they were very keen on that yeah, sure. um uh, and actually, as I look back at Doctor Who, I go, "Well, you could, there's an argument to be made that it's just an <laughs> anthology series, <laughs> you know, really." Where well, you go, true, because even yeah. when I look at the difference between a Hinchcliffe mm. story and a Graham Williams story, there's yeah. a massive difference. But but let alone, you know, you change yeah, yeah, your you yeah. change your writers, you change your yeah. directors, you change your lead actors, there's everything you change, yeah, yeah, you change yeah, everything. Yeah. The yeah, only thing that's constant probably is the monsters, weirdly, yeah. Yeah. and the TARDIS. Yeah. You know, well, you um, say that. I've, I've got something to say on that in, in a second. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I like all your trailers. <laughs> <laughs> um, Serialised uh, interviewing, I've noticed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, I just wanted to ask about the um, training program that you've been working on. Yeah, with, with, it's ITV, isn't it? it? Yeah, it is. I, I kind of put it together on leaving the show. It was something actually yeah. I wanted to do while I was on the show, but BBC Studios weren't really interested. So it was. Um, so yeah, I wanted to be sure that. Um, the, the, there is no showrunner training in this country yeah, at all. Yeah. Like you know, the might I think the writers guild a little bit and uh, screen yeah. are trying to talk about it. But really, what I wanted was to come out and to use all the knowledge I had. You know, of, like doing Broadchurch and then Doctor Who, just yeah. even alone in those two shows for the last ten years. It's like it's like the amount of useless information <laughs> I have gathered about how you put a show together, or yeah. how to work with heads of departments, yeah. how to do writer's rooms, how to, and I really wanted to share that. Invaluable. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, it was one of the first things I set up with my company once we'd finished, um, with Rebecca Rowan, who's our head of development, who was script editor on yeah. Flux, yeah. Um, uh, mm-hmm. was to um, set up this program. I went to Polly Hill at ITV and, and asked her if she wanted to um, you know, fund it and, and partner in it, and um, yeah, we do. We we got uh, about eighty applications for it. We chose seven amazing mm. people, and we did uh, one. Every, the last Friday of every month, we would do sit down and go through a section of the program making process. Yeah, right. and yeah. go right. Here are the questions. Here is what will come at you mm. if you're a showrunner. Yeah. Here are the questions you'll be asked. Here are the jobs you're going to need to do. Here are the things. Loads of people come in to talk. Wayne Yip came in to oh, talk. Yeah. David Tennant came in to talk. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, who else? Annette Laufer, um, all the Sagan and the sound team, Harry Barnes did sound oh, effects, brilliant. and uh, uh, Howard, our mixer. Um, we have people from marketing, mm. Polly herself, and it's just like, wow. what is the role? That's, that's incredible. How do you define it? And yeah. then, but also the pra- practical things for them to take out into the yeah. world. Um, and that's been one of the most enjoyable things I've ever done. And we're just yeah. now. We're going to be doing our second well, year next year. Yeah, yeah, we just opened applications for the second year. So, um, you and know. how can people apply for that? It's um, if you you have to apply through agents, um, okay. uh, and it's if you, it's basically the the kind of um, criteria are if you've uh, written episodes mm. on a series, if mm. you've got some broadcast credit, right. because it's yeah. not an entry level. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. If, so if, if you're going towards showrunner stuff. Yeah, then, it's you it's people who might be showrunners in the next two mm. to three to four years. Yeah. So it's if you've got, you know, you've written a couple of episodes for somebody yeah. else's show, 
or you do, like a couple of people on our first um, year had just finished the first season of their own show. So right. David, who wrote The Rig for Amazon, and yeah. Jackie, who wrote Maternal for ITV, yeah. they just finished, and Carmel, who wrote um, Count Abdullah. Um, on ITVX uh, they'd all done their first season but hadn't had any showrunner training so right. then you know then afterwards they, you go right how did it work on you yeah, like, oh yeah. yeah no we didn't do that or we did this or, you know so yeah so it, really the criteria is if you've had a season of your own show or if you've done episodes on other people's shows and you think you're about to mm. you know mm. sometime in the next couple of become a showrunner you can, you can apply you have to have a script um, and a letter of application and then we gradually sift yeah. through um, and do that but it's uh, been incredible and actually everybody's come to talk yeah. on it it's been really <laughs> incredible as well yeah. we've had a really lovely time yeah, yeah it's really good it's it's um the, the kind of stuff that uh, you know to an extent you, you know go into uni and yeah like yeah and well and also or... I think you what there aren't now like when I came through yeah you know I had a, it was a weird start, but it, I did. The, you did drama, didn't you? I did drama yeah, at uni, yeah. yeah, yeah. But more when I was coming into TV, yeah. right at the beginning, I was, I'd done a couple of plays, and then I was really lucky. I mean, really, you know, fortunate that my first hour-long yeah. script that got went to series, yeah. but I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And those producers <laughs> were really supportive in gradually across the four seasons, letting me. Yeah, you know, I say letting me. It's like it should be, but they, 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 they were really good and progressive in terms of going come and sit in the edit, see what that's like, come and sit and talk to the directors, you know, whereas a lot of shows didn't work like that. But but what's happened after that is then, you know, I was writing on Life on Mars, then obviously yeah, I was working on Torchwood, yeah. but you yeah. can see how other people are working. You learn mm. by mm. osmosis and you, you, you do that stuff. Those shows aren't really around now, yeah. so it's very hard to go to go in, write an episode, yeah. to watch how a show works or to sit around. You know, I wrote an episode of my Bullen show with Rick Mayo called All About George, just mm. seeing how that worked, mm. you know. Um, Th- those shows don't really exist because yeah. it's so. So what I really wanted to do was go right. If you're a showrunner, how do you how do you become a showrunner? How do yeah. you get that experience? And and it's not there. And I feel really passionately about it. And also that you know any you, you want to make sure that everybody's got those opportunities yeah. in, in the same way that I wanted to open up, up the writers' room. Yeah. I want to make sure that anybody from from you, you know any background can be a showrunner yeah. too. So yeah. that's the that was. The point of it. And, and I suppose for you know being a showrunner, you need a, a, a good knowledge of all the different areas of, of production. Yeah, well, yes, you do. You to, do. To, to an extent on each one, I guess. Yeah, you, know. you do. You need to n- know what you need to know. Yeah. Um, and you need to know how to work with the HOD, you know, HODs, mm. heads of departments. Um, I think the, the important thing is uh, you need to know how to work with the people who are experts in their field yeah. and trust them but also go this is the show we're trying to make yeah. how do you get the, everybody in the same place to be using their incredible yeah. geniuses and skills you know you've talked to Ray you've talked to Arwo you've talked mm. to Pete yeah. talked to, you know that, that those how are you getting everybody facing the same direction where you go this is the show we're making. Yeah. We're not making that. Yeah, we're making this. You take their brilliance and kind of fun, yeah, and, fun and this is the bit. point and the purpose. So again, when yeah. we're getting to two, it was a bit like it's yeah, like yeah, okay, yeah. we wanted to be super cinematic. We wanted to, you know, you know, the little things that the changing the aspect ratio, changing yeah, the lenses, yeah. going anamorphic, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, lens, was really, really lens flare. Love it. Lens flare. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> stretchy, lens flare. But yeah, you know, yeah. there was a point to that of, of going yeah. down with the anamorphics where you go, it makes you feel like you're watching a Spielberg. Movie. Yeah, it, it just gives you that. On BBC exactly. One on a Sunday yeah. it's a yeah. bit of a yeah. cheat you know because it's like it sort of adds you, it feels more movie like yes. just by the shape yeah. of the lenses yeah. um, and those iconic shots and those iconic movies you know looks yeah, like yeah. back to the yeah. future yeah. you know stuff like that um, but it's so but it's knowing those conversations where you're mm. going so as a showrunner the skill you need is to go here's where we're trying to get to yeah. in terms of Cinematography. How do we? Yeah. What do we need? How do we get that? You start this conversation, and then, and then, but you're not going. What we want to do is we yeah. want a hundred millimeter prime lens yeah. on it. It's <laughs> not that you're it's going. Not, yeah, it's not your, much more yeah, general yeah. where you're going. This, How, you know, this is what I'm yeah, envisioning. Yeah. So with you Ray, help like, make it happen. Yeah, yeah. With Ray, it's like okay, we want authenticity. We yeah, want yeah, color to yeah. pop. You know, and it's stuff like that. It's not doesn't. We don't want it to be monochrome. Mm. Or you know, did, did um, for Jody's outfit? Did you have any kind of? 
idea of what you wanted it to look like up, up front? Or? Uh, no, not like that. It was what happened with that was, and I know Ray's talked about it in, in detail as well. Mm. Was she had? Um, I think we knew the things we didn't <coughs> want it to be. Yeah, mm. very clear. You know, because it was like people talking about dresses and skirts and stuff mm. like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and um, what she had sent through images. Um, when we were talking about her playing the part, she had sent through yeah. lots of sort of images, uh, just on WhatsApp, that, that evoked the doctor for her and the sort of doctor she wanted to play. It was play. a photo of her, it was black and white, have you seen that? It was a girl in clots and Yeah, places. I mean, you look at that, that's the uh, silhouette yeah. of the doctor. So, yeah. But there was about 20 of those, and there was also one of Madonna in like a white trouser suit, oh, okay. peroxide uh, yeah. there. Um, really amazing photo, and it was like, <laughs> The co- and, and really quickly, yeah. when those came through, I was like, yes, that, and Christopher Lloyd in Back to the Future as well. And it was like, it was like that meets that meets that. Yeah. That's yeah. where, that, yeah. so again, it's about direction. So, yes. so it was they, so her and Ray, it was like, I was like, yes, that's absolutely, that's the yeah. direction of travel. Yeah. Go away and do it. And that's what you came back with. It's just it's sort of got a bit of Victorian adventurous, yeah. it's sort yeah. of slightly timeless. Yeah. It's slightly sci-fi, you know. And so, yeah. so it's, you're in. Uh, like my job is to guide the geniuses. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. to yeah. go. This yeah. is what I. It's not about it's serving the show. Like, yeah. We started to talk to the showrunners about this. It's like it's like the show has the ego. The showrunner should <laughs> have the ego. It's really important. Yeah. You know, because you're in service of the show, yeah. even if it's a self-created show. Yeah. It's like you know, with Broadchurch, we were always like. It's a horrific thing in a beautiful place. Yeah. And that was the aesthetic. Yeah. You know, it's not a, it's not rain and concrete. It's like beautiful and it's mm. yeah. tragic, yeah. And devastating. It's quite unusual, really, actually, I suppose, for who very to be conscious in that sort of setting. Yeah. 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 Well, it's because it was here and I was walking on these yeah. sunny days, and you yeah. just go, "Oh my goodness, yeah. the distance and that." Yeah. You know, I, was, I was thinking about it on the bizarrely. Mm. I was thinking about exactly this on the drive down because yeah. it, it is so beautiful down yeah. there. Yeah. So I was remembering the episodes. Yeah. And you've got that wonderful, that's like that wonderful, almost nostalgic feeling for the yes. glorious seaside holidays, yeah. vistas, and everything yeah. else. Yeah. And yet, like you said, it's yeah. tinged with yeah. that real darkness, the yeah. horror of yeah. the body on the beach, and, yes. and and Beth's kind of whole emotional journey through yeah. through the whole thing. It's obviously yeah. Joey's part, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she does it brilliantly. And actually, just on that, can I ask you, Mike? Actually, was there a point at which you were filming Broadchurch, writing Broadchurch, looking at what Jody was doing? Thinking perhaps in the back of your mind that she could be a doctor because this was before quite a long way before um, you know Stephen Moffat handed things over I guess yeah uh, it was uh, later on so I guess somewhere between series two and three yeah yes there was Um, but I was sort of thinking of lots of people yeah it was you know so. So oh, you've got but, plenty of doctors in there already. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can't <laughs> use them. I can't be Eve Miles because she's been Gwen. Um, uh, uh, so yes, there was a bit, and yeah. we had um, also been to we'd been to the Harrogate Crime Festival for Broadchurch. Oh yes, there was yeah. a novel of Broadchurch that came out, and we did, went to Harrogate for that and for yeah. the Broadchurch panel. And she and I got the train back. It was the first time I'd really sat and talked to her properly for an extended period of time. Right, yeah. um, and she was talking about this short film she'd made called uh, Emotional Fuse Box, mm. which then was the film that became Adult Life Skills. Yeah. Uh, and she sent me that, and then obviously I knew Adult Life Skills mm. when that came out. But I thought that showed that side of her. But, and, and the other thing is, like, I knew, you know, just from being around set and read yeah, and all that yeah. kind of stuff, like who Jodie is and the parts she had played yeah. until that point were very different. Yeah, you know, she she's more like the Doctor than she is like Beth. Yeah, you know, she's she's like she's yeah. funny, she's quick, she's interested in everything, she's really um, outward looking, she's yeah. kind yeah. of um, uh, caring about people, mm. and you know, so so and she has this energy, you know, which yeah. is very yeah. you know she's so still in a lot of her film roles, yeah. but she is fizzy. So I, I saw. Um, one of the actresses is in One Night, which which is the oh, yeah. show. It's just we can't get it here yet. It's only in Australia, I think, at the moment. But she said, uh, "Jodie is a mile an hour until yeah. action's called. Then she's she's yeah. in. Yeah, and, she's incredible. And they yeah. cut, and then it's yeah. Jodie's yeah. back. Yeah, you know, and and um, you know, Mandip's talked like that as well. And yeah, you know, seen her in interviews. Yeah, she's and, incredible. And you know, what's lovely with the Doctor is you get you can do both those things. Yeah, yeah. you know, she yeah. can do all yeah. of those things in one scene. Yeah, yeah. Um, so." 
there was a uh, did I think she uh, had more range mm. than I had seen her do in other things yes absolutely yeah. I knew Broadchurch wasn't going to give her that mm. you know mm. what she did mm. in Broadchurch was extraordinary yeah. she's the emotional heart of it so many ways yeah. no and yeah. it, like, it works because yeah. of Jodie yeah. and because yeah. you believe yeah. you're invested in her from yeah. minute one yeah. and she takes you through you know, the whole three seasons yeah. um, uh, but um, it, yeah so, so but she was absolutely in my mind mm. on mm. that list um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. she actually kept. I mean, when we were doing season three of Broadway, yeah. when we were filming it, we were also doing a writers' room for Doctor Who, for like one of the first ones we did oh, down right. here. Yeah, and actually, because David and Olivia came in and talked to the writers yeah. about, and David came in and talked to them about Doctor Who and stuff like that. Um, uh, and but Jodie also like stuck her head in that day and <laughs> met Mallory Blackman, who she was a yeah. big fan of, yeah. and stuff like yeah, that. And it yeah. was like. You know, and then later we were like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know that she, she didn't that. know. It was around that point I was yeah. like, oh, she's an absolute contender. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but you don't know, and you don't know until you write this. You know, I wrote audition scenes, and she yeah. she did those, and, and it was just then when she came in to read, and it's like, oh, just there was something there, yeah. which felt very doctory and very new and that's you know Close I feel like I'm yeah. sure that's what Shooty's going to bring as well yeah, yeah. it's probably yeah. absolutely yeah. bold and new yeah. and also unmistakably the doctor mm. from the first moment you know so it's like that's that's what you're looking for that you don't know what you're looking yeah. for until he walks yeah. in the room yeah. you know, and starts yeah. reading some lines of the doctor you're yeah. like oh there's the doctor yeah. look at that <laughs> you might have an yeah. idea but yeah it's... yeah because you actually you know you get auditions where you go yeah, yeah that's not that's a great actor and that's not yeah, it's, it's not that working. It's just yeah. there's something about that yeah. because also often a lot of them are not, they're not the kind of big leading actors yeah. that you would, that, you know, if you were compiling a list, it's yeah, often yeah. not yeah. those people who are top of the list. Yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? Because um, you look at a lot of the doctors, they've very few have been widely recognised names. I mean, yeah. obviously Peter Capaldi was, you know, and has a. He's a, probably a, one of the name. most. Yeah, yeah, famous um, and storied when Peter he Davison possibly because he had a bit yes, because he was massive as Tristan and John yeah. Hurt, you, perhaps, but less so though, wasn't he? Because he was radio, and yeah, wouldn't he, we actually, wouldn't have picked yeah, him out in the street, would you? In nineties, no. I don't know to be honest, but unless yeah. you're looking for a tall light bulb or something, like that, possibly. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. But they all seem to have that kind of mercurial aspect within their own personality, yeah. don't they? Yeah, there's something about the values. I yeah. think you know the Doctor is a character with values yeah. in a way that lots of characters aren't, mm. and you yeah. just, I think that performer has to believe in those values really yeah, to yeah. Uh, sort of off screen and you know Jodie is very yeah. moral well yeah, we saw during really the, the lockdown yeah that that she, she represents you know, it all yeah. brilliantly oh yeah. well that was the other thing yeah. that she said from the start she said I'm mm. not going to just audition for it I'm going to I'm going to fight for it I'm yeah. going to represent Brilliant. what this yeah. means yeah. you know yeah. she knew what it would mean to women and girls and mm. you know that was, she, she was so smart about it all she, uh, my, I mean my daughter Freya, Freya, Freya I was telling you, she yeah. absolutely loved it when, when Jodie was announced I mean she'd so she was 11 no she was 10 when the pilot came out and that's when she started watching it and I've told the story on the podcast before but um, she just suddenly said to me one day can I watch Doctor Who with it and I'm like oh, yeah okay <laughs> poor thought you know? and then, last she yeah, last that's <laughs> brilliant and then I thought about it I thought well actually all the um, all the, the 12 Doctor stories so far have been quite dark yeah. right, and quite right. wrapped up in you know in these ongoing narratives and personal intro, you know very introspective very deep drama and stuff like that no idea if she was going to get it or not but then of course it was the pilot which is much lighter oh, yeah, in its yeah. tone and it was, it was season 10 was a little bit Actually, when you talk about removing barriers, I think that 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 season had done that. So that got her into Doctor Who, and then we watched a couple of ones from the classic series and a few two thousand, you know, two thousand on two thousand five yeah. onwards. But when Jodie's Doctor was announced, or when when Jodie's face lifted up in that thing in, in Wimbledon, yeah. she was absolutely just up for it, mm, and great. and she's been a massive fan through oh, know, I love all that. of that. Yeah. But also, you know, and, and I say Jodie, but you know, she is. I think actually Matt Smith is actually still a third top doctor yeah, 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 but she yeah, likes, yeah. you know she likes all of them it's not like well I'm just a fan of Jodie or something you know yeah. she's a massive massive Jodie fan and she's got the posters on the wall and everything else alongside Supergirl and yeah. you know um, Harley Quinn's another one she's oh yes nice nice movies. so you know but those female icons and, and role models are so important yeah. you know and for that to be for that to be a part of Doctor Who for the Doctor to actually be a woman yeah, you know, is is such a massive shift and such an important one as well. And it's, 
you know, I'm sort of drifting through my questions here, but I guess it's kind of implied, but was the weight of that on yours and Jodie's shoulders? Did you really feel it in terms of we're doing a great thing, but also there's a lot of pressure on us to get this right, perhaps? I think most of all, it felt delightful. Mm. Um, uh, so, and it felt like, I mean, it was, it was, there was no question about it. Yeah. You know? There was no yeah. question within the BBC. There was never any, yeah. are you sure? It was like, okay, yes. Um, uh, you can take that for granted, you know, a lot yeah, of other places yeah. that wouldn't have been the case. Um, uh, no, it just felt like loads of opportunities. Brilliant. And it felt, yeah. I was really sure it was the not just the right thing to do, it was an mm. interesting thing to do, it was creative, it was yeah, funny, it yeah. gave you more jokes, it gave yeah. you more drama, it gave you new situations. Every time yeah, the Doctor goes yeah. into a situation that season, it's slightly different, yeah. it, it had a different tang. It won't look like that retrospectively because mm. it's, you know, but actually, yeah, yeah, but actually you think about some of those yeah, stories, yeah. You know, yeah. like Witchfinders or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, or silly me, I got confused. Or, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's so, I think it's, um, it, it's, um, yeah. Uh, did we feel a responsibility? I mean, I th- uh, probably at certain points, but mm. it, well, that wasn't the big thing. No, it was much yeah, more yeah. like, this is going to be really fun. Yeah. And also it was like, no, we're going to prove it works. Yeah. You know, that was the thing. And, and sometimes you need a bit of that as well. Yeah. I just remember going, that you know, reveal video, like so when the hoop came yeah. back, you just thought, oh, this is different. This is going to be really exciting. fun. It really yeah. exciting. Yeah. It's all brilliantly directed by Jamie Childs. Yeah. Um, uh, and um, that was a fun day. That was a, fun, <laughs> that is a really memorable day filming that, where we went to yeah. um, to this place just outside Cardiff, and and we were like. <laughs> In there, we were in a hotel where there was a wedding reception going on. Oh. We were smuggling Jody in and out, and we had to go through the barriers of the security thing to get yeah. into the um, army base where we, or ex army yeah, base where we, yeah. where we filmed it. And um, it was like she had her hood up, and it was just like, <laughs> and we all had false names. Oh, did you? So we were all checked into the yeah. hotel, and because she needed a room to go and stay, yeah, in, and then to change yeah. into that thing that she was wearing mm. that day. And to meet Jamie for the first Jamie Charles didn't know who the doctor was going to be oh, really? that day. We like, right. um, yeah. and um, but yeah, and I remember going up to the hotel to check in. I was like, "What's my false name?" <laughs> <laughs> I had to text someone. Go, "What's my name again?" <laughs> you know, George like, Lucas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was um, absolutely crazy. Have you used that false name? Since? I can't remember. <laughs> what it was. I probably still don't text. So it was something ridiculous. It was like it wasn't you know. Um, not even believable but yeah, yeah no 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 no. so it was um, yeah th- but that was an amazing day and just thinking yeah. you were doing this and then editing it we were editing it at the top of BBC Wells and we locked the door so oh, that nobody you? could walk in accidentally yeah. and even the caption where it says introducing Jodie Whittaker until the last minute where we sent it off oh, wow. was still there was no ne- it was jumbled yeah. with letters really? so introducing I think I've still got a photo screen grab yeah. of that is it? Um, <laughs> yeah because we were we were so yeah. also, it, it also worked I remember staying with I was in so I was like gonna get an honorary doctorate on the Monday at Edge yeah. Hill, which is where my son is now, and um, uh, university, which is just north of Liverpool. And um, mm. so we were staying in a hotel in Liverpool the night before. Right. I was with my parents, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and we watched it in the bar in <laughs> Liverpool, <laughs> in the bar in Liverpool with this thing. And it's, but I remember my dad saying to me, yeah. "I know it's Chris Marshall." I know it's Chris Marshall. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I promise you, it's not. He's like, it's in the paper. It's on the front page of the paper. That's Chris Marshall. I was like, yeah. If, okay then. <laughs> if, if anyone's gonna know, Dad, <laughs> I swear to you, he did not believe me. Oh, that's hilarious. Because <laughs> he's not gonna be a woman. <laughs> yeah, Chris so, Marshall pops up every. His name was. His name does pop up. I mean, he's it? very good, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's, very, good, yeah, yeah. he's very. Yeah. He's got that doctory energy, and yeah. Yeah, he's funny, and yeah. But maybe Big Finish. They should turn him into. Oh, an yeah. Yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Good idea. Yeah, yeah that Nick yeah. Briggs. Yeah, do it. Make it happen. Nick, yeah. He doesn't live far away, so oh, really? I'll, I'll tell him on the way home. Oh, yeah, pop in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, um, have, oh, have you, are you going? no, I was just yeah. going to move on to our, our back to Doctor Who. Question number section. three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going? Yeah, we loads of time. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so actually, since we're on it, series eleven. Yes. Which I have to say, as anybody who listens to this podcast will know, is one of my absolute favourites. I, I ah, absolutely okay. Interesting. love it. I do. I, mean, I love twelve and I love flats, but eleven because it is so self-contained. I mm. think, and it is its own, and it is so tonally different. Yeah. And you know, and I love it. And I've always said I love it when Doctor Who gives me something different. Will say to me that yes, you know what Doctor Who is, 
but now let's show you this mm, yeah. and it's still dot two and I'm like yes give me yeah. more of that you know that's all good Great. but it is a it is a massive change now, and what I wanted to ask you this was supposed to come on the back of the broad church questions but we diverged a bit so it's all fine because <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that gets me with um, with a lot of your stuff is that there's in within the monsters within series eleven yeah. The, the monsters seem to represent much more human traits. So they're like representations mm. of racism and greed and manipulation and control and all those sort of things. Yeah. Was that, and it's probably a stupid question, but I just want to talk about it really. So, so was yeah. that kind of a conscious thing you wanted to bring in or did it just kind of happen through the stories? No, you it, was, it was conscious. It, I mean, I don't know whether it's too much. Do you know what I mean? I, mm. I, I, I think it's, it, it, it was conscious because we talked about it a lot in the writer's room. Ah, yeah. and, uh, only in terms of being purposeful, yeah, of going, yeah. is there a cool, you know, first of all, is there a cool monster? But yeah. but also then, what's the purpose behind the monster? Mm. What are we What are we <clears throat> saying in the story? You know, yeah. and and you know, you can that people's mileage will vary on that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but also, I think every monster. I think if you you, you uh, break down any monster, mm. they're really purposeful. You know, if you yeah, look at the Daleks, yeah. you go, mm. you look at the Daleks in the Daleks yeah. in that Hartnell story. Mm. You go, they are so purposeful in terms of their. Um, allegorical nature yeah. in terms of nuclear war, yeah. in, ter in terms of um, Nazism, mm -hmm. in terms of you know, which obviously comes out even more in Genesis, yeah. but but is there from mm -hmm. the start. Uh, uh, so I felt like um, a lot of the stuff we were doing in Series Eleven mm -hmm. kind of linked back to the DNA of the show. Yeah, right yeah. at the start, and I went back and re read exactly the original. Said, exactly. it, yeah. Well, I went and read the original mm -hmm. BBC document oh, and, yeah. and, and did yeah. all that kind of stuff, and went, "What is the purpose of this show? Mm -hmm. What is the actual?" Everybody can talk about their opinion of Doctor Who. Yeah. What's the DNA of when it was created? Yeah. And what, it, were trying to do? what were they trying to do in that first bit, season? Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's Rethian, isn't it? Mm. You know, educate, inform, mm. and entertain. Not necessarily in that order, <laughs> um, uh, but um, it, it it absolutely was. So so I, it, because we were able to have those conversations, yeah. it felt interesting to go. Well, you know, why? Yeah, yeah. Them, why? You know, and and I I don't know whether it's useful or not. You know, I I think you can argue it is, mm. or you can argue it becomes over thematic. But it, it's probably one of those things that, uh, as an adult, you notice more, but as a kid, yeah, you yeah. don't. But well, I, you know, with something like the team, for instance, yeah. Tim Bryce created. It's so, what I love about that is yeah. that sense of the toddler. Yeah. Is a yeah. toddler having a tantrum, <laughs> that's and, 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 you know, and yeah. and it's you know, and that's really great. But then with the, yeah. the Jarians, where they, yeah. It's, yeah. you know, obviously, it's about. Um, grief and caring and also about evolution and how, yeah, how yeah. civilizations change yeah. you know um, and you know so I I kind of do love those ideas there's mm. there is depth to the idea behind mm. the monster yeah. other than here's it's, a scary yeah, thing not coming out of the dark fangs and yeah. claws you know yeah yeah, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. meaning behind yeah. it and, and purpose it, yeah is it difficult well, we know it's a difficult show to write for yeah. but you've got to try to make something that will appeal to kids appeal to adults yeah like my like you know some people didn't like the pating i showed yeah. my kids that bit they thought it was <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. but we knew that well yeah. like you don't do the pating and not know that some people are going to go i want yeah. it to be scary <laughs> but, it, but it's not a show that is only aimed at you know you or me it's it's yeah. got to no and you're appear, doing it in the context it? of you you know what's what else is coming so you're mm. doing the pating after you've done the guy with the face full of teeth, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. giant spiders the week before. Yeah. Mm. I knew we were coming to um, uh, Demons of the Punjab the week after, which is much, you know, yeah, yeah. incredibly yeah. emotionally yeah, devastating. Story, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, you know, what Vinay did with that was brilliant. Mm. Um, uh, so it was part of that kind of yeah. the whole season yeah, is, it's a, is, it's a, is a different shades, isn't it? And, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah. And so I think you know I I love the pating, and also there's a yeah. good heritage of those you know in yeah. in the show. So it's not like again, not the old no. blue. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, you, there's, there's you know a, that's a close cousin of the adipose, isn't yeah. it? And yeah, yeah, other yeah. things you know. So it's like so uh, yeah. You're always I can't remember the question. What was the question? Uh, <laughs> it was just a lot. Sort of, like, my kids love the pating, and yeah. I I I quite often. Uh, Comment and on, I love that little shit. You know, yeah. it's just, it's, it's yeah. genius, I would have. We, I, we were gonna do a sequel, um, and we couldn't quite get to do it for uh, a couple of reasons. Yeah. Um, uh, and I would have loved that. I would have loved, to, and it was. I would have called it Patings, and it, it would have been like loads of Patings. And we had it all worked out, and we oh, couldn't do it for one reason or another. Oh. But um, 
but uh, yeah, I, I loved it and, and I thought it was great. I thought that Dean Egg did it brilliantly. Yeah, and the team's yeah, concept yeah. It was magnificent. Um, yeah, it was it was really great. We were going to ask, um, out of all the creatures that you had in your time, which one would you like to see come back? Um, or, which you kind of answered a bit there, but in in someone else's time, you know, like yeah. like um, you know, the youth returns from your yeah. Time. Uh, I think the ones are most f- f- uh, the ones that stick like instantly mm. stick out for me. Um, Swarm and Azure. Oh yeah. Um, um, the Tim Shaw, but yeah. I, I'm not sure there's much more story there. But but you know. But maybe the Stenzer in the Stenzer. Yeah, yeah yeah yeah. But but and um, but mainly, uh, the one I would love to see Bob would be yeah. Carvanista. <laughs> oh yes. Love yeah, yeah. I love. I really. I love Craig Elves. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I, that. Um, character just became everything I wanted it to be. He's, yeah. he's um, so funny, and, uh, and his he would not be alone. There. We've got a lot of followers who love people. Love no, really, so like I don't absolutely. I think generally when you do Doctor, you're yeah. not sitting there self congratulatory, going, mm. "Oh, I love that." And they should bring that. It's much more like, "Oh, we needed that." Oh, I yeah. think that was a bit better. Yeah. Like, you know, you do it because you you see where it's you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, if you had fifty million unlimited, but what what that is, but but I think it's such a. Um, it just makes me laugh. But yeah. Craig understood it inside out. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, and I, the relationship with him and um, yeah. uh, Dan, they, isn't it? They obviously yeah. really oh oh my God. They yeah, like yeah, each yeah. other, but it's, yeah. it's yeah. begrudging. And, yeah. you know, but then it becomes quite uh, you know, moving when it does, he's the yeah. last Lupari and he's howling and you know it's, it's you know, just a, such a committed mm, performance yeah. and wonderful. So I yeah, I would be that would make me very happy yeah. if uh, Carmen Easter suddenly Well, there's, there's also quite a bit of story there that we haven't seen. But, yeah, but loads. Leading yeah. up to, um, you know, Halloween Apocalypse yeah. and, and yeah. you, know, them, um, you know, trying to find him and, yeah. and things with, you know, Fugitive Doctor and stuff. And, yeah. You know, I can imagine Nick Briggs is, you know... <laughs> <rubbing it in. laughs> Do you know the line I put in and took out and I really wish I'd kept it, but it's such a, it's such a deep cut <laughs> line, is when they're in the prison cell in... Right. Um, uh, where are they in there? In six, is it? In Vanquishes, maybe? The Doctor and Carbon East. Yes, oh, and the, and the little dome. Yes. Yeah, 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 and they're talking about, yeah. you know, he's like, why don't you, you know, you, you desert me. I, yeah. I had a line where I was like, and I heard you had a robot named after me, <laughs> like to mock me. <laughs> and he was like, what? And he's like, K9, Carbon East to 9. And I was like, oh, and I was like, that's too much. We haven't got that much running time. <laughs> oh, so I was cool. like, that he'd heard about it yeah, yeah, across yeah. the years and yeah, thought, yeah. thought the doctor was kind of being <laughs> rude about it. Anyway, that's, um, you know, there you go, all the deleted lines in one's head. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Ah. Um, it must be quite tempting as a, as a fan of Doctor Who, because you've been with this show since you were a kid, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So quite well known, and you know, for one thing, to suddenly be writing for it and then yeah. to be helming it, yeah, you know, is it? Is, are you always fighting the temptation to put in these little notes? I know some of them come through anyway, don't it's, they? It's like you said earlier, I guess, you know, you're in service of mm. the show, yeah, but the lot of horses, are you fighting to think well, I could make a reference there? Or you're not really fighting, I mean, I, I think mm. I probably controlled it pretty well, and um, would be my analysis of it. <laughs> and, uh, I, it's not, there's not sort of much in there and I probably loosened yeah. up a bit as I, I went in putting yeah. more I was really conscious not to do it in the first season yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very well you saved the Daleks uh, you know, yeah the absolutely Dalek in yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah Um but even sort of lines and stuff like that there yeah. there isn't much of that whereas there's more you know you see me kind of you know in even in Spyfall when she's saying uh, you know it's about Jodrell Bank or something yeah, yeah. of course yeah. which isn't the name for the you know, Farris project, but, but let's move on from that. Be, but it was glad to be filmed at Jodrell Bank, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I, I, my parents live near Jodrell actually. Bank, so I drive past there a lot. Yeah, and yeah, every time yeah. I go past, I go, oh, Logopolis. Logopolis. And so in my head, I was like, mm. yeah. Okay. Uh, but uh, there's lots more of those. Um, no, I don't think, I think you, you're always telling a story, and then sometimes yeah, you're like, yeah. as long as you know that people will get it. And yeah, sometimes there's yeah. a line in there just for, you know, 150 people or 5,000 yeah, yeah, people yeah, or whatever yeah, that is yeah. that it doesn't matter as long as it's not like a massive plot point that you go, yeah. okay, I don't get yeah, that. Yeah, a little throwaway gag. Is, yeah. yeah, no, that's delightful, yeah. but you have to temper it. I never really felt, I police myself quite, <laughs> quite hard on that, I think. You might be, I mean, you yeah, can no, maybe, I think you so, can maybe yeah. point it out yeah. otherwise, but I, I, I never wanted it to be, 
you know, you, they're, yeah. they're all quite buried in the middle of something. Yes. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So it's like yeah. you can, yeah. you gloss over yeah. it, but somebody, I know people will be going, ding! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Other than, you know, obviously Power of the Doctor, but then Power of the Doctor is a, is a celebration of, yeah. of, of yeah. the show. Um, so it's a, it was a different thing. Yeah. Um, and then it all came out. I saved it up yeah. for you until the, yeah. you know, Centina <laughs> in the BBC. Uh, I must say, um, the, uh, the idea of Pating's is, is like in my head now, yeah. Pating's? Oh, you yeah. went until I tell you where it had been set, but I can't oh. tell you. Um, but yeah, it was such a good, it was such a good location for it as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I ask about the fan? Because we love the fan. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. still on series eleven yeah. in, in my head here. Yeah, right? yeah, so, yeah. and I have to say, I love the idea of including the fifty-plus-year-old man in the companion mix because that's me now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. So <laughs> I, I felt very and, represented. Well, Graham, do you know, I'll just say like. Uh, Bradley is so good and so is John Bishop and oh, I should have learnt my lesson by now but when Catherine Tate was announced to be coming to the show I thought really? And then she was brilliant yeah, amazing. and, then, yeah, and yeah. then Matt Lucas I thought really? And he was brilliant and then a Bra- a Bradley and every time I proved wrong which is They're right good, so good absolutely <laughs> brilliant. great yeah, performers but also you need a bit of you need to understand how to do the comedy because yeah. I think yeah. a comedy yeah. and horror and obviously talk to you, has elements of horror yeah. or sort of um Flavors of that sort of reaction, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. sort of you're using the not necessarily the tropes, but the conventions and structures mm. of horror. Often, yeah, you yeah. Know? And so you need people to be able to do that. But but also, its timing is really important. Yeah. Pace is really important in Doctor Who in a way. It's not in other dramas. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, I thought. No, listen, great actors are great actors. Great performers yeah. are great performers. Yeah. You know, and and. You can think of so many incredible American movie stars mm. who come start off in comedy. With Jim Carrey. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, look at Jim Carrey and Man in the Moon, Man yeah. on the Moon, the, the, the Andy Kaufman. Yeah, the and Truman mm. Show. And, um, yeah, and seeing John Bishop, you know, go through emotions yeah. there, and then he wasn't wonderful. just. You know, it's the pathos, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the yeah. humour and the yeah. tragedy. Uh, yeah, and, and, and yeah. you know, same with Bradley. Yeah. You know, with the, the, the Grace storyline and his yeah. relationship with Ryan. It's you know, yeah. just yeah. really nicely. Well, you love them, and I really, I hope you know. Yeah. And, and I think that's what those performers bring. And yeah. what, you know, I knew people would love John because mm. John is lovable, and it comes across <clears> on the screen. Something yeah. weird doesn't come across on screen. You know, who are lovable in real yeah. life. You put them on camera, and you're like. That's interesting. It's not it just the camera yeah. doesn't want yeah. to do it. You know, it's really weird. And I think um, it was really important to me that you loved the yeah. regulars. Yeah, but that's as the, we went know, through. You know, like you're saying about the fam. You know, for us, you know, and many, many others, you want to spend time yeah. with them. Yeah, great. And, and also the off-screen relationships, particularly Jodie and Mandip. Mm. You know, it, it comes to on screen. I think. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. Just, I mean, we were lucky that. But I say we were lucky, but it's also we. Mm cast according to that but it's also what yeah. the tone Jodie was setting was I and mean, we talked about a lot is we've all got to have fun on the show yeah. while we're on the show yeah. Yeah. we cannot be working on the show and be miserable because what is the point and everybody else would love to be on the show yeah. So and we needed to make it welcoming for guest artists mm. all that kind of stuff and Jodie was fantastic at that Brad Tosin yeah. um, uh, Mandip you know it's, it's you can talk about Jodie forever but actually that, that three seasons yeah. all of those specials is Mandip story oh, yeah. as much as anything yeah. she Absolutely. is yeah. amazing yeah. Um, I love that she was there for the entire yeah. duration yeah and well. it wasn't necessarily the plan you know right. it was like you, you kind of you wait and see but then you just like she's she's luminous you yeah. know she's such a great actor and she has that tonal thing yeah. of funny to yeah. tear jerking within yeah. half a line oh you, you see it particularly in, in yeah. Flux you know when yeah. um, she's looking at the hologram yes know, yes morning, and then you, you know um Dan comes in yeah. Yeah, again with, with um, you know Jericho, yeah, and and then she sort of snaps back into you know being funny with them and things. Yeah, and yeah. yeah Mandip is just she's amazing and you know really just a warm yeah character and, and person as well. Yeah, and you want to feel like you love them. You also want to feel mm. like you can be those people yeah. as well. And but I think you know that last scene with them on top of the Tardis, for example. You know, oh, it's, it's just like, oh, nice. look at how yeah. those. Yeah. Performances. Yeah. There's no hierarchy in those performances. Mm. It's not like there's your lead and there's your. It's yeah. like though they are matching each other every yeah. step of the way, yeah. and that's take one. We should say that that scene. So you could tell the emotion between them. Yeah. Is, yeah. Is, yeah. it's yeah. them yeah. and the characters. But the the words that you've written, I think, represent yeah. y- you guys and your oh, time on it, and, and all the people yeah. who loved it as well. Yeah. And yeah. you know, that was one of a number of moments where I was like, oh, something in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what it's there for. Yeah. It's also there to be true, like that. Yeah. It, it's sort of, 
there's a purpose in the drama there, yeah. Mm. And but you're right, there is a purpose of of kind of us going. This has been amazing, yeah. you know, because yeah. we all felt it, you know, and we all had it was such a great team atmosphere. Yeah. It was such a that, you know, we we love going to work, you know, most days. Yeah. You know, yeah. not every like most days. You're like, how are we going to solve this insurmountable <laughs> problem? You know, or how do we do this? But but it was a hoot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and like really you said, great. what's the point if? If, if you don't enjoy yeah, it, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like Dan's line, isn't yeah. it? You know, what's the what's the point of yeah. being alive if not you know to yeah. be happy? Or, yeah. or maybe phrase that wrong, but something know, like that. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm glad you can quote all the dialogue. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I think it is important with the yeah. The, mm. I, I, but uh, also uh, thematically, mm. that was very important. Like I, I was just for the era to be about family yeah. and different yeah, versions yeah. of family. I knew. I had a sense of what I wanted mm. to do with the Doctor, so it's like everything revolves around that central idea of family. Mm. Yeah. Um, and because it's a show that is designed for the whole yeah, family, yeah. it's never really been about family. No, it's, it's sort of yeah. it's never really mm, no. explicitly been about family, and that's what the Thirteenth Doctor era is: is yeah. different versions of family. Yeah, and then what family means to the Doctor yeah, is yeah. completely disrupted. You know, yeah. So that's the sort of purpose of it. And it's quite interesting as well because from the outset we have um, a Doctor who seems to court companionship. Yeah. Whereas yeah, yeah. previously, again, we've had the Doctor sort of pushing companions away yeah. or, or putting them through a test yeah. or something. You know? I mean, which I think is great and I really like that. But, mm. I, I, you know, the story of the Doctor is, is going places and go come on yeah. Yeah. You know, and I was like I just wanted to bring that you know yeah. like a lot yeah. of this is graphic equaliser stuff you go which of your graphic equalizers of the Doctor yeah. are, you, yeah. are you pushing up in this un- incarnation yes. for me it was like throwing the doors of the TARDIS mm. open so it's like she doesn't mind who goes inside you know because yeah. like, that like there's quite a lot doesn't it yeah, yeah. she's like bring everybody yeah. in and the master deliberately yeah. mocks her for it yeah. later on yeah. you know? um, but it's a deliberate choice to go Come on in because I've got the most incredible thing yes. and I want you to join yeah, me. But also, sure. historic, if you go factually, what are the events of mm. the Doctor as we've seen on screen? It's like going, You're my friend, come with me now. You're yeah. my friend, come with me. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. the thing. And I just thought, I really wanted Jodie's Doctor to be that mm. and for you to feel that if she landed in your street, you were going to get to <laughs> yeah. go in the time. Yeah. 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 really you, important you really to have that do feeling. With it, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, that's why we end up on Dan Street at the end, that's why yeah. we start in yeah. Sheffield with those things that you should, should feel like yeah. always. Yeah. The doctor's just around the corner and will mm. and is your best friend. Yeah. Yes. You know, I really wanted that version of the doctor. Yeah. Um so yeah. And comes around for tea at your house as well, you know. Tea, 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 tea yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. That, like, you get the feeling in that at that little bit. The doctor's never been asked to, to tea well, at someone's. No, you know? and it's funny and you've never seen it on screen and I was yeah. like, I realised it in the woman who fell to earth. I was like, When's the doctor been at a funeral? You know, yeah, and actually, yeah. when have they been for tea? And it's yeah. like seeing those things and just just using those miniature humour mm. moments to go. She's delighted by this. Yes. She's not very good at these things. Yeah, but yes. she's but she's like, oh, this is as much of an experience mm. as hanging off a grab bar. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like she's just like, I went for tea. Yeah, you know, I don't know how it worked. I wasn't very good at it. You know, that that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I really wanted to kind of keep building in that she would be connecting with these human mm. experiences, but. Yeah, just, you know, sometimes do them really well naturally, yeah. and a lot of times be like, I can't, I didn't, yeah, I've forgotten how to do this. I'm it's not like, actually human. I think I said to you a little while ago, yeah. I'd love an episode, it will never happen, but where it's just the doctor and uh, the fan uh, just just hanging out, watching movies, doing stuff, yeah. you know, completely normal, yeah. you know, and the, the uh, disaster and adventure doesn't end up, you know, getting in the way and. You know what you just said there. You put those little moments in. Is is sort of doing that? Yes, you know? you're doing one an episode. Yeah. You know, sort of thing. And I always loved it. Like I, I loved the beginning of um, the Ed Heimro of Orphan Fifty Five with the oh, yeah. with the big um, tentacle, the tentacle on the yeah, floor yeah. and they're talking <laughs> yeah. about that. And yeah. I always it was one of my favourite moments yeah. where you just see them after an adventure. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like yeah. literally yeah. just finished when we start, and yeah. they're like yeah. mopping it up. And yeah. I really and Graham's off doing his whatever he's doing, and he's got his yeah. coupons, oh. and it's like. <laughs> I've already got my speedos on. Or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's a really it's a beautiful Ed Hein moment. There. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. like you, we, know, yeah, you get love, those feelings. We love Orphan Fifty Five, don't we? Yeah, it's I'm a big fan of it. Yeah. It's, like, it's yeah. like aliens blended in with Doctor Who. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's also, a beautiful writer. I think. Also, a bit of um, in, in the production felt like a, almost like a Seventh Doctor story. You know, and yeah. Kind of well, it, Ed's a big it? McCoy fan actually. Really? Like, um, yeah. When I say big, he wasn't like a like an enormous mm. Doctor Who fan, but he was really. Um, uh, he talked about Paradise, Ty- Paradise Towers. Paradise Towers. Yeah. He was he. It's, it's sort of in his Doctor yeah. Who, 
who vocab is is very Sounds mm, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really interesting. I think that both of those, sense. both yeah, of those, you could put some yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. same with the, it takes you away as well. Yeah, you know, in a di- very different way. Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. that's one of your absolute favorites. It's it's one it? of my favorites. That one. Yeah. It takes you away. I love it. It's I very, do. So I think good. it's grand. Yeah. It's very yeah. beautiful yeah. and very different again. Yeah. 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 Kevin Eldon. That, but also that ribbons of the seven stomachs is again. Yeah. That is a quintessential Ed Heim. Yeah. Creation, you know, it's, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's a hundred percent Ed Heim. Well, we, yeah. had, we had a question from someone, didn't we? Was was there a monster cup? For yes, there was. Yeah, 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 I yeah. think it, was there yeah. a photo somewhere in DWM? There might have been, point? yeah, because yeah. it probably went to print before we, before they realised we'd cut it in the right. edit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it just didn't work. Really? It just we watched it in the edit, and it was like it was it, it, it just wasn't scary. Right. And so we replaced it with we used the moths more. Ah. Okay. So actually, it came oh, yeah. in. So we used so w- the way we did it was we we changed those sequences and recut yeah. it slightly, and then used more moths than right. we planted, which actually was fine because actually there was a, there are a lot of things in that episode. Um, yeah, but yeah, you, you we can't just didn't tell. I don't think no, no, no. it was also it was our first block, and right. it was like we were doing "Woman Who Fell to Earth" and "It Takes yeah. You Away" at the same time, and we just didn't quite pay it enough. Attention! It got onto the floor. It got filmed. Yeah, yeah. And it looked like it was going to be okay. It was a creature performer. It was like Millennium had done a great job. It, but it just just hadn't. Um, it was our responsibility, and it was it just came to bite yeah, us a little yeah. bit. Right. But actually, I think you you can't tell in the episode yeah. the way we've used the moths mm. was really good. But um, yeah, it was a it was a change. Yeah. But that was it was it was one of those things. It was like it was nobody's fault. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, it was, it yeah. was just, but you had to look at it and go. We could put that out. It's okay, yeah, but it's yeah. not. It, it Some, just it just pulled you out of it a little yeah. bit, and it was, uh, yeah, it was it was just a, yeah, it was a re- really interesting thing. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, because you learn on every episode. Yeah, and so sometimes things they just don't work. Yeah, for no real reason. There's no. Like yeah, I said everyone's delivered on it. it just cliffhanger yeah. of dragon fire. Yeah, part one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, listen, yeah. the guys there talking about it. Everyone knew what they were doing. They planned it out. It all made sense in yeah. the story. Everyone's there. They film it. They look at the edit. Yeah. It. They send it out, and then somehow you think, oh, this doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. And Chris Clough said, isn't he? Like he's, he's looked at that and he thinks, yeah, I don't know what the flipping heck happens. <laughs> <It's, laughs> you know, yeah, just, and it's like you have to be tough with sounds, yourself. We could have yeah. let that go out, and it would have been mm. fun. And it was episode nine, you know, and it wouldn't have. Yeah, you know, it was yeah. Like, it, uh, in the end where it was, although it was meant to be slightly earlier, but it felt emotionally right episode yeah, nine by the yeah. end. But um, yeah, it, so yes, there was right. uh, the Spindle Man. It was called the Spindle Man. Uh, it was it was great, but um, yeah. and it was great on the page, but it was like it needed to be really big and really yeah, imposing, and it yeah. just it somehow it didn't quite read on camera, yeah. you know. And it's like it's always and that's the other thing you never know on Doctor Who mm. is you, because yeah, you're designing yeah. everything yeah. so quick, you're designing and building mm. within six weeks. I mean, not always because you're hopefully you've got because yeah. you know what scripts are coming. Up. We're, going, we're going to have this. We're going to have yeah. some tyrants. We're going to do this. Um, but often, you, you, it, you, the time you see the monster is yeah. four yeah. days before. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. if you're just in a little bit of a pinch, it can be an hour before it goes on the floor, and you go, oh, okay, <laughs> that's not quite. You know, that's yeah. a bit too. You know, that looks more like sixties than now. Yeah, we don't um, want another murka. Or yeah, I can see how that something. happens. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. 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 Um, that's why there's a big sea beast in uh, Legend of oh, Sea Devils. Yes, I've got that, a that was that, that was a that was a yeah. come on now. Let's all just leave the murder yeah. alone because we've got a <laughs> <laughs> uh, Um uh, Yeah, uh, because they keep you know sea monsters. We know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, uh, you, you just you just don't know, and, and yeah. you know, and that's the genius of all those teams is. All the times they look yeah. right, mm. you know, yeah. because it's against the odds. Let me tell you, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. all the time, yeah, it and it's like you know, um, it, it, yeah, it's incredible, and, mm. and um, yeah, yeah. So that's what happened on that. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the yeah, lot, yeah. I've forgotten about that actually. Yeah. Yeah. I've forgotten so you know all of these things now because yeah. you, you sort of just put it away, and once the episode's finished, you're like, yeah. oh, phew. you know, even with the Sea Devils, actually, yeah. you know, we really. That was a very, very tricky process and what we were going to do with them and that kind of stuff because it's like really what you'd want to do is like fully digitally yeah, yeah, animate yeah, the yeah, yeah. nowadays. We couldn't quite do that, but actually a combination of prosthetics and, and Ben Pickles yeah. and a bit of CG and it would it it worked okay, but it was mm. like it's another one where you go, Oh, 
you know. But that's um, like I, the next version of Sea Devils, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would imagine, would be end up being amazing, you yeah. know, or any other creature like that where you go, right, now you've got an extra X million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you do yeah. that. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. Stuff. The design on them was, was brilliant and it, and it works. It was spot. great. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. really it's fantastic. Because really, Sea Devils was. Um, a, a sort of fairly last minute edition, wasn't it? it at that point, it was. Yes, we were. Yeah, we were always going to do a sort of a priority mm. story, but but the thing we were working on just didn't quite come together, so we had to change right. what we were doing. Um, yeah, yeah, it was. It, yeah, it was. It was very. It was really really there were lots of like that was like doing the Grand National that episode because you kept suddenly you'd round the corner and there was another massive yeah. hurdle and you're like oh <laughs> I thought we got through there you know one yeah. day one day the full story of that episode but not today <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all, and all everybody being brilliant again yeah you know great but, solutions yeah, stuff happens you know. and stuff, stuff happens yeah. and, and there's no yeah. you know there's no um, y- your your choices are do you keep going and get this done or do you not put something on television yeah. it's as binary as that yeah <laughs> Doctor yeah. Uh, yeah, you're like, yeah you know you've committed i guess and you know, yeah 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 so you yeah. make the best of it yeah. and, you know I, but i really love that so i love yeah. that cast i love that mm. it's set where it's set with that cast and you yeah know. it's just some there's brilliant stuff in it you know the, the giant uh, sea beast it's great sea devils yeah. Yeah. really great yeah. dna yeah. work you know lovely um you know doctor and, y- and yaz moments yeah and, you know yeah. just the ship on the bottom brilliant. of the sea yeah you know that you know there's just so much fun stuff in it yeah, yeah, that, yeah, the toys at the bottom of the sea, absolutely amazing. <laughs> ben Pickles again. Yeah, yeah <laughs> love, love it. Actually, we've got um, someone from one of our Facebook followers there, Eleanor Jody Alashevsky says, and actually this is what we've been talking about here, how seriously did you consider resurrecting the poor old Merca, she says, for Legend of the Sea Devils? Oh, right. well, no, I think that's, because, what the, that's what that monster is. It's so just it going, is actually the Merca? I don't think it's saying? necessarily the Merca, but I, I, you know. It has to be. I'm not, I don't know, I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to ask the Sea Devils. Jo- uh, I, yeah. Well, the Merca is later, right? Because the Huashen would come first. Oh. So you could argue uh, the Merca is a baby offspring of the Huashen yeah, later on. Yeah, 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 it's, it's, yeah, yeah. I can't remember when Warriors of the Deep Pack exactly yeah. is set, but it's sort of, what is it, like 21st century? I think it is. 2020. Yeah. No, 2083, 2183. It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely. It's so 100 years on from, or 200 years on from when it's born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think you can make a case for going, you know. That, that works. Babies that have works. spread around yeah, the world. Yeah, works, yeah. Happy with that? <laughs> Good, we can solve all of these now. Let's yeah. see what we can do. Let's see what we can join up. Uh, well, that feels like a really good point to um, take a break on our interview with Chris mm-hmm. Chibnall. Um, we hope you've enjoyed the first part of this. Um, come back next week for part two. Um, it's it's another hour and a half of Chris uh, talking. We get stuck into Flux, um, find out all about the production of that, the challenges of it. Um, we talk about... Uh, what could have been and and what was um as well as thasmin and masses and masses of other things as well um i haven't let paul talk I, here I, that's because i'm so excited in edgeways, mate. Yeah. <laughs> no indeed as jeff says we got loads more to talk about so make sure you're back with us on the next episode for part two of our fantastic interview with chris chibnall <laughs>